Let me tell you what happened to me when I was in jail. I was in Twin Towers in LA County for a week, charged with five felonies equaling over 20 years in prison. I was innocent. I walked into the Twin Tower jail bunk and there was maybe 150 men inside of this bunk. A guy walked up to me when I went in there and a guy ran up to me and said, yo, who you with? He looked at my name and he said, oh, Jose Maria. He said, you're with us. He said, come here, I'll give you a I had no idea. He walked me over to the bunk, he took my from me, put it on the top bunk, said, you sleep up here. Then he opened up his hand and he had three packs of peanut butter and an apple and it was warm. So I didn't drink it, but I was really hungry. And so I ate the peanut butter and I the apple because I was starving. And I go and I sit with a group of Mexicans and they say, yo, your name in here is Hollywood. I, I said, excuse me? And they said, your name's not Jose in here. We'll call you Hollywood. I said, okay. And they said, anything that we ask you to do, we need you to do. And in, and in lieu of that, what we're going to do is we're going to provide you with protection and food. Four days later, four days later, they gave me the tour that morning. You go pee in the pisser. You go poop in the pooper. You don't pee in the pooper. Four days later, I went to the bathroom and I went pee in the pooper. And so I peed in the pooper and I went back to bed. The same guy called me over and said, hey, Hollywood, come over here. We want to talk to you. I said, okay. I walked back to the similar area I was last time, but this time all the bunks were put together. And I entered inside of there and in there, there was 20 Mexicans in a circle. I sat in the center and then Shorty said, hey, Hollywood, little Ray Ray said that he saw you go pee in the shitter last night. Did you go pee in the shitter? We told you, you only go pee in the pisser and you go poop in the pooper. You don't pee in the shitter. Did he see you last night peeing inside the pooper? I probably did. I said, I, I don't know the rules. I'm not used to it. I, I didn't know it. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. All 20 Mexicans raised their hands that they knocked my f***ing teeth out. And it got back to Shorty. He hadn't voted yet. And he goes, Hollywood, all these guys want to knock your pretty teeth out of your face. What do you think about that? La raza, la raza, la raza. The Mexicans started chanting. And Shorty says, hey, Hollywood, listen. We're going to fight the blacks. But what we need you to do is we need you to go and take out Killer. Killer was the head of the blacks. And at the time, I was 27 years old and I was just jacked. I mean, my ears were still mangled. I hadn't had surgery yet. So I had surgery on both of my ears to try to get rid of the cauliflower. And Killer starts kicking the metal pole with his shin. Like something out of a freaking Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. He's kicking the pole with his metal. I'm like, tong, tong. I'm talking full on kicking it. So I'm thinking to myself, I saw him kicking the pole earlier. I know a lot of stuff in fighting, but he's not a wussy. He's not a wussy. I said, okay, shorty. Okay, because if I don't, they're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. They're going to stab me. Like Nothing ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to kill me. And uh, so I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. So Shamu comes over to me and he says to me, Hollywood, here's what's going to happen. He said, when you go flying in and you start her, his lieutenants are going to step to the front and they're going to start you from the side. So when you go into her, strike and back out. Strike and back out and look to your sides because they're going to be coming in with knives. What have I done here? I get indoctrinated into a gang for no reason. I have no idea what's going on here. Shamu tells me that they're going to shank me when I go to fight killer. I'm laying there. I'm getting ready. I'm mentally preparing that I'm going to The cops hate me. People hate me. They say I'm too hard. I'm this. I'm too hardcore. You weren't there. You just don't know what I went through. Unless you did it. You just don't know what that was like. You don't know how bad it was for me. You don't know. It was just... It was, it was scary. It was, at that time in my life, I was, I was scared. I was really scared. I was, I was terrified of what was going to happen to me. And uh, that's what made me who I am today. That moment of me being a torpedo, the moment of me being, having, you know, and then Shamu coming over and telling me, they said, you're, you're a torpedo. Now, Shorty didn't call me a torpedo. After that meeting with him, then Shamu came over and explained to me that I was a tor Sh Shamu was an accountant. And he, anyway, it's just... It was just so hard. It was just so hard. You're more than welcome to be an anarchist, my friend. <clears throat> Forgive me. Sorry. And so I'm on the top bunk, looking over, looking over to Shorty for him to give me the right? I'm literally sweating, cascading sweat. I'm cascading sweat. It's hot. Nobody's talking. And I hear, De Castro. I look up. It's the guard. You made bail. Get your bunk. Let's go. Oh, derp, 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 derp. He's the best. You're muted, Ram, just so you know. Hey, everybody. Man, good old derp. <clears throat> yep, he's funny stuff. He's been cranking him out. Yep. How That's you one, feeling? one of my favorites. That's a good one. Yeah, it's, it's apropos for right now, too. Yeah, his acting has <clears throat> not improved at all. Hey, everybody. Look at that. Got a good crowd in here. Spider-Man. Nice. 
Chili the con artist. Men is oh am I reading that right? Is that Mendason? Yeah, Mendason. Yeah, what's up, buddy? He uh, by the way, everybody go sub yes. to Mendason as well. He uh he's been putting out some good stuff. He's got a great AI chili voice. He's got like the fucking Dulux model. <laughs> it's just like the Cadillac yeah. of chili Chef. voices. He can he made him whisper. He can make him whisper, he can put emotion into it. He just did a, a video that was really funny, uh, where it's Chili's inner dialogue during the uh, bail hearing. It is, it's great. Go check it out, Scott. Yeah, Scott, very funny. Uh, I see you. Hey, uh, yeah, Scott is in here. I saw him earlier. Oh, Scott. Oh no, it's Scott Amo. But yeah, uh, no, I know. But Scott was here too. He was here earlier. Where he was? Conspiracy. Uh, Yvonne. Chef's Linda. here. Rick Middleton. Hey, is uh, who was it that sent me that? Richard Hilliard in here. He sent me uh, that article. Chili made the papers <laughs> in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, two nights in a row. They had an article yesterday, too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. well, we'll have to take a look at that. I'm, yeah. uh, I'll be honest, man. I'm, I know you've had a yeah, rough couple of days. I'm kind of freaking agitated myself. Like everything. Uh, the video's done, but I, I just got to check it. So, like, um, yeah, but we're here, man. We made. It. I know. I know. Uh, we made it. Yesterday, if, if if half of what a hippie yesterday would have been an April Fool's, <laughs> it would have been a good day. Yeah, <laughs> but unfortunately, none of it was an April Fool's. Yeah, shit's been tense. all all shit's the way into tense. last night. Yep. But at least we're not in jail. Right? We're not in jail. No, and. Uh, Our our bail and, no their bail and roy roy sells cigarettes up at the gas station so that's the roy i know gotcha and, uh, this body so hey, hey. um there's I, yvonne yep yvonne uh we should probably watch that new phone call because it's pretty funny yeah yeah yep, i've got it i've got it ready to go uh if everybody's into that we can roll into that i'll try and uh Jump into the chat a little bit too. Let me see. I thought I had to go through. Lessons learned, my thoughts by Chili De Castro. Yeah, so, right. Oh, let's see here. Get this pulled up. Da -da -da. Get the right monitor here. Yeah, this, this uh, by the way, if you, I watched it once, but like everything with Chili, you got to watch it a couple times to uh, really absorb all of the nuanced stupidity going on there um this is his contrition um <laughs> oh, his, <laughs> post, yeah, his, his <laughs> post post appeal uh change of uh, whatever yeah th this is a tactic is what i'm trying to say so we can whenever you want what what everybody think of his acting job <laughs> yeah right those crocodile tears just wait don't vote yet i i really i really wanted to hear him have to give an apology though i just wanted to hear what he was gonna say i wish he would have uh, let him do it just for the hell of it yeah been good content <clears throat> well you can't have everything buddy can't have everything no i can't get my voice right now all right let me get this started so i can clear my voice out you do that Okay. Uh, Mr. DeCastro was convicted. He, he was given six months in jail. I would ask the court to consider, based upon his ties to the community, sister here, nephew, he has a whole bunch of people who wanted to come to court. Um, there seems to be this assumption that this court sentenced Mr. DeCastro to six months. You saw his conduct um, in, the, in the body one camera. Uh, by the officer, and I would venture to say, and I would submit to the court, that the six-month sentence that you imposed isn't simply for his behavior. Your Honor, the, the statute we cited is, uh, in fact, just discretionary to you to determine on appeal, but given the fact that I think he really is contrived for, for what he's done. I disagree. Thank so you. he's going to apologize to me in a minute, but that's not what he's saying on what he's publishing online in his phone calls from the jail. That's not what he's saying at all. I could have given him given him 180 days on each count, ran it consecutive for a year in jail, but I didn't. Yes, sir. All right, so your motion is denied. Thank you. Thank you. I went up 
front of Judge Zimmerman again. Before he gets started, that uh, that prosecuting attorney sure was uh, singing a different song in the appeal hearing. Yeah, she. Uh, I think, yeah, I think the more- the ju- I, well, I think the judge got her recharged a little bit. And, yeah, and I and, and I really honestly believe she got a little bit of help. I really do believe that because she hit on a couple things that sure indicated that um, somebody was, you know, tickling her email. Yeah, well, um, yeah, he's making himself famous there, and that's not smart. Um, yeah, real real quick. What I said, and real quick. Oh, real quick. I thought you were going to follow that up with something. I got you. And she, she had already decided that I wasn't going to give myself on. And, you know, for Ms. Zimmerman, we, what she doesn't understand is that I really have fundamentally changed my perspective. She may not know that because she only sees what she sees on video, you know, how I, the way I am with my bravado. But obviously, after losing in Arizona, losing in Massachusetts, losing in Ohio, and now losing in Nevada, the common denominator there is me. And so when I go to court, I have to change the way I have been, or I'm just going to continue to lose. I'll just continue to lose over and over and over again. So where Ms. Zimmerman was incorrect was that, I, I unfortunately, I've had two weeks of just completely being you know, in a position like this where I have time to think. And so I have changed and I want to advise anybody else who <laughs> hears me that you should not no be this kidding. Um, I have in four different This things. is the strangest, like, um, I don't, I don't know what this is, but it's, well, it's, I mean, it's, it's know, half, it's half like, um, I'm a yeah, loser. It's, it's my fault, <laughs> but, but, um, the judge is also, um, I don't know. He's, it seems like he's, well, man. Uh, well, to sum up, to sum up everything you said, he's just a loser. He's lost here. He's lost there. He's well, that here. too. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's just he, playing. He can't, he, he can't accept that. Yeah. He'll, he'll never come to a direct. I mean, it's pretty crazy that he went that far. Um, he's not going all the way with it. You know what I mean? He's trying to sort of save face there by saying, well, the judge, you know, throwing the judge in there in the mix for no many reason. years of therapy Gia. he needs a ton of therapy yeah absolutely and this may be it i mean you know this this may be this may be the opportunity for this man to get some type of psychological help yes um yeah it remains to be seen but yeah they kind of lost in four states so obviously the problem is me and so i have to change the way i am Continuing on that idea, as I move into public life, I have to change the rhetoric that I use because there's a half the people support cops and the other half the people don't trust cops at the least. So regardless, though, if I'm going to run for any kind of public office, uh... Uh... <laughs> and this is where Ms. Zimmerman was completely wrong. I, I realize now that I have to change after losing in four states and four different. So wait, courts, wait, wait. He's and, admitting he's wrong, but saying the judge is wrong about it. That's right. kind of what I was getting at. Like <laughs> what? What? bad yeah just twisted bad. twisted yeah it's not it was the common denominator it's me and so that means that i'm doing it wrong that's that right and so that's what i want to teach hey thanks people. danny Don't do it like i did do thank it you right. danny do it show the deference and the reverence that you have to show to the court even if we don't agree with the system as it is we still have to live within it or as you saw I got in front of Ms. Zimmerman, and Ms. Zimmerman formally married a police officer. So, and so uh, well, wedding, right there, he still got that wrong. He, he's nobody told him that he's wrong about that yet. She's not married to a cop; she's married to a lawyer. Yep, this is true. For years, I have been openly disrespectful of the police. So, obviously, if I go in front of her court and I show her horses ass like I did, and she has the power to put me in jail, she's going to. It makes perfect sense to me. It's not personal. I put myself in a bad position. She has all the power and I have none. And she exercised her power. So I made the mistake. It's my mistake. Now, do I feel like it's fair? Of course I don't. <laughs> there's people who've been released from jail here who have committed felonies, who have committed crimes, who have. Now, there's worse, pe- worse people than me. I don't deserve to be here. I do. But it's not fair. Up the 
they've asked, they don't like it. They don't want to be filmed. And uh, they don't like my rhetoric. They don't like the way I talk about police and they don't like the way I teach people. And so some of those things do have to change. It's not necessarily going to change that I appreciate an authoritative system where the only solution for any sort of disagreement with government is that you go to jail. I mean, there was, you know, I mean, there was just cages and cages of men going to court today. I, obviously, obviously, I can't give any of the layout here. And that, the guards here, they go so on. I'll tell you the initial of the guard. He has initial L. That's all I'm going to say. He came to me and said to me, listen, they have a very strict, rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols here. So I don't have to fear for my life because there's always going to be more than two or three guards at one time. And that if I just follow the rules as the rules are laid out, then I will be I will be just fine, and I will do four of the six months, and I should be out in July uh, at the latest August. So the guards have been fair to me. I haven't seen the guards abuse anybody. I haven't seen them be overtly cruel to anybody. It's a very protocol system here. So I have nothing negative to say about any of the guards here. None of them have treated me. I mean, I don't agree that I should have been thrown in a hole for making a third-party call when I did not make a third-party call. But, you know, well, I go uh, in Rome, um, dance like the Romans, or thanks, hey, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Five yeah. bucks. Chili's making uh, this call with the judge hearing it in mind. More BS, yeah. And somebody made a good point. Hey, Ron, what's up, buddy? Um, somebody made a good point that, um, we're not even hearing all of the call necessarily. There might be even more on the front and back of it. So the judge would be able to listen to all of those, all of it, That's whether right. or not, whether or not she's going to that trouble. But I mean, yeah, certainly it's something that potentially there. Well, Don't she, know. She obviously went to the trouble at some point. Well, but she could have just been watching him on his channel. You know what? That's he's true too. That, that is true. So, but. She might, she might be a here's the deal follower. Maybe I doubt that. <laughs> um, so, so uh, the video that I have coming up and I'm sorry, I, uh, man, I really was busting my ass to finish it before, but I just like finished it two minutes before we came on air. So uh, uh, I don't know. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll try and see if I can check it in the background here. Um, on the show and maybe we could play it, but, or maybe I'll just do it after the, put it up after make it live after the show. Sorry, well, everybody. Judge, Richard says, and that's yeah. true. He does. Yeah, it on Mac. absolutely. But he, he, he's kind he's, he's trying not to make himself look like too big of a, you know, a, a cry baby there. That's all right. Pat's cats. That's all right, man. You're not late. We're here and we're late. <laughs> Yeah, I always feel like I'm about like 15 minutes late for everything. Yeah, this is uh, this is nonsense. Uh, Performative. By 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 the way, when this is when this is finished, I plan on going to Here's the Deal channel only because he's calling some people out. And, uh, Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, he's calling us trolls. Uh, oh. Oh well. But, but then he. But then he. Uh, uh, Let's see, uh, Dave and um, a couple other people did a live stream. And, and, you know, they were getting silly on there and stuff. And he took real offense to it. It's really kind of funny. So he gets he gets so hell-bent. Holy cow, Gia, thank you, darling. Look at her go. Yeah. Um, this is gaslighting. Yep, she says this is gaslighting and deflecting. Uh, deflecting. Person, uh, God, I can't. I might have to put my glasses off. Yeah. The word is personified. Personified, and he has manipulated everyone in his whole life. He's an actor. This is absolutely true. And then she doubled yeah. it up. Yeah, we have a text message from his sister that says the same thing. I'm sick of you. You're a manipulator. If you want to hang out with my kids, that's the niece and nephew that are being referred to in his in his bail hearing. There, that's fine. But I don't want anything to do with you. Uh, and that's from the sister that was listed as a part of his loving family on, in his bail hearing. I mean, just galling. Hey, Ron, what's going on? Courtney, what's happening? The Spartan or, School of Wrestling. Maddening, I should say, would be a better word. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, hey, Liz. I did find it kind of interesting that uh, 
the attorney brought that up again. But a separate attorney by his family. Hmm. Yeah. Let's okay, see what so we got good. here. We got uh, Chili's Inflamed Cornhole. <laughs> Our buddy from Can he watch YouTube in jail? <laughs> I that, don't think they can watch YouTube in jail. Probably yeah. not. But um, who knows? Well, if they get a cell phone in there. Yeah, exactly. And that's a hot commodity. When they get a phone in the jail, it's a it's a big deal. Um, it can make yeah, it sure. way, it can make its way around and really pad your commissary. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got with this. You're gonna get you're gonna get cooked. So, while I don't agree with the ruling on the the, the meeting that I had, I have two more days left in the hole, and tomorrow I will get no phone call out. None. I'll be locked in a room tomorrow for from tonight when I get off this phone until Wednesday when hopefully I get to go back to a regular setting where I can continue to read. So I would like to say thank you to the guards who have been kind to me. Have been and, and they do watch and listen to my channel. There's a lot of guards in here who watch my channel. And Love thank you. you for not being overtly cruel to me. And some of them have changed my perception on jail guards. They just have not gone out of their way to be cruel at all. And I haven't seen any of that. I've seen people who, you know, if you're not quiet or you don't fall in line, then they, they come down pretty hard on you. And I, there's some things I don't agree with, but I don't think that now is the time to voice those concerns. I think, I think that there'll be a time when I come out of here that if I live through this, and I hope that I do, then I'll be able to write a book and I'll be able to tell the differences and things that I see. But right now I'm just going to, try to get along. So the next two phases are we are appealing to the Nevada State Supreme Court because of the constitutional issues that there is no 21 foot rule and that the judge had some had some they still never stated a 21 foot rule. They said that that's what they <clears throat> that's what they train in that department doesn't <clears throat> doesn't necessarily mean there's a law. Um I believe the department can have uh, set their standards how they want. I know Arizona got shot down on their eight foot, but uh, Navy Tech Ranch, he's just doing this because he doesn't want another 180 from his next court hearing on the same stuff. Yeah, that's a possibility. I mean, you know, he's yeah, he he changed course um, pretty quickly. Yep, from, from yesterday crying. And but you know that that's chilly. That's chilly's mo though. Really. Honestly. Oh man, yeah. If you I'm listening to his phone calls, making that video, man, he's like. He's so all over the place, man. One yeah. minute he's self-help guru, and the next minute he's like, it sounds like he's being hunted by, uh, you know, you know, like a yeah. fugitive or something. You know, he's like he's using hell on earth. It's hell on earth. It's a hard time. It's like, dude, I, I'm sure it's not fun, but it's county jail, man. It's like survivable. It is what it is. Definitely anger towards me because of the way that I performed in court and I've done it in three different states so obviously I kept messing up and so I'm going to change the way I do it and I'm also always going to hire the absolute top rated best attorney in any place I ever go again so that's what I'm going to do and that was my mistake as well I uh the, the second part of that is that we're going to file a, a petition for a writ of habeas corpus to be released from jail for ineffective counsel because Michael Mead did not submit a First Amendment brief, did not submit any motions to dismiss the case. Then he didn't do any video analysis of the police video, and then he didn't submit my only evidence, my video, into evidence. He didn't submit the only evidence I had into, into evidence. And so uh, then he called me to the stand, and we did no witness preparation. And so that would, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it was an effective counsel. I, I, I like Michael Mead as a person. I think he's a wonderful human being. I, Come on, can you really believe that? Can you really believe that he wasn't manipulating Michael Me? We watched it in court. He was in his ear the whole time. Oh yeah. Again, you, you, can't, you can't tell me. And even Pat Pat Darcy said he's you know he's a good attorney. Uh he, he didn't and the fact that Rico told us that he was supposed to be meeting with him uh an hour yes. before court started that day, and Chile chose to be in the courtroom antagonizing the bailiff yes yeah I, you know come on now i it, file all this crap i don't think he's got a leg to stand on uh i really don't 
No. It's going to be interesting to see what Pat's got to say about this. Agreed. Yep. Might have to check and see if he's put anything up recently. Let me get caught up here. Let's see. We've got uh, BTW, BTW Media. BTW Media. I hope he starts getting visitors from all over the YouTubers he's publicly bought with. Well, that could be. Maybe start with Blue Bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, I think he has to put you on a list. Yeah. So even in jail, Chili blocks comments. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure he doesn't have a, a comment slot on his cell door, does he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's... Oh, man. Yeah, I, re I really want you guys to see the video. I'm I'm excited for you guys to see Oh, it. yeah. Let, well, let's get this done. Is, is it ready to go? No, I, I got to export it and check it real quick. So, okay. Well, that's with it. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's finish your up. Hold on a second. What are you doing? Sorry. Nothing. I had to read something. Sorry. This particular case, he was effective. So, even as you can see, um, um, because I, I know that this, I mean, the judge told me today in the court, she watches my videos. So, as you see, as you can see, even now, if you know, if Ms. Zimmerman is ever to hear this, I've changed the way I even speak because I have to adjust my rhetoric if I'm going to survive in a system that wants to put you in jail. If we'll you eliminate know, the in rhetoric to be put in jail, and I, I performed this way in four states, and so now at this point, while I'm in jail, we have, we have to take a look at my conduct and say, maybe it's you, bro. Maybe it's you, and so. I have, hey. to cool. <laughs> I have to change ever so slightly here. I have to change the way I behave. And thanks so I for will. thanks so for catching up with the rest of your class, Chili. Now yeah, that no I have been arrested in jail, and I understand just going through the court process with the cop, I have learned how to audit in a way now that will make it so that I can teach an auditing class. Because now I know the red flags that will come up in court. And when I get out of here, I will teach that class. <laughs> I have mapped out constitutional law scholar. Uh, on paper here in in solitary confinement, and so I'm going to send that off to people, um, and I'm going to try to start getting that game put together. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm in the world, so I did it. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, wait a minute! How did he do that without a pencil? <laughs> he said he wasn't allowed to have pencils. I'm calling bullshit on that. Uh, Gia yeah. uh, Ram, if you can highlight that uh, for 99. Just telling us, I, uh, I, I do, I do have it highlighted, my friend. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure, man. I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm not. Yeah, Jeremy lying. Dewitt indicted on federal tax fraud by grand jury, three twenty-seven. Yeah, well, that's good news too, man. Yes, it is. It's that's kind of that's kind of how I found my way into this whole deal a long time ago. He was one of the first uh, idiots that had a YouTube connection that I watched. <laughs> uh, I didn't follow him or anything, but you know, he was all over the place. I mean, you couldn't, there was a period of time there where you couldn't turn on, you know, something, and Jeremy DeWitt name was plastered. Yeah, well, that's where Mark Master Sergeant, uh, he got a lot of uh, uh, audience from that. He yep. squares because that's all I have. All I have is squares of paper. So I'm going to mail those off. And um, Thank you, I do yeah. appreciate all the support. And then um, California, it's, it's California people of the state of, California people of the state of, that person, whoever that is, California people of the state of, thank you. I'm looking at at least a week or two here if the appeal to the Nevada State Supreme Court is heard, and then I'm looking at the week or two for the rid of Hades Corpus, so I'm looking at, you know, at least one to three more weeks in here. If, if both of those get filed in a timely manner. So I'm looking at being in here and through the month of April until the middle or end of April at the very earliest. And at the latest, it's August, but likely middle, end of July, and that will serve my entire session. So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. That's where he's at. I got buds like golf balls to celebrate Chili getting locked up. On boss of appeal, Ram and Dick Bag. Thank you, Yvonne. Nice. How uh, how's the world over in the, the Nether Everlands? Um, is that where Yvonne's from? 
She's Yvonne, I believe, is in the Netherlands. Yes. Oh, I'm nice, not, man. I'm not mistaken. Sweet. It's a beautiful That's... over there. It sure is nice over there. Yeah, that was uh, well, that was something. He he uh, he went back to the board game. Um, I wonder if he's. He said he was reading earlier. I wonder if he's still on Atlas Shrugged or if he found the rule book yet. Because he seemed to be, he insisted there was no rule book. <laughs> Just insisted. Never given a rule book. No such thing exists. And yet, there it is. Rule 249. Hey, jet lag, what's up? Oh, man. Yeah, this guy's exhausting. Even when he's locked up, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to hear that, uh, see that new video. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, well, what else we got? We did. He did make the paper twice, right? Yes, he did. I, um, yeah, I guess I can hold off on this. Let me go. Uh, oh, what do you have? Nothing. It, it just the uh, here's the deal, <laughs> which is going to get it's going to get me a little pissed off. But, I mean, yeah, uh, I, you know what? I don't know how everybody in here feels about that guy, but I kind of don't want to even any airtime if possible, if I can avoid it. I just, you know, Chili's enough to deal with without having to get agitated by other stuff, unless it directly, you know, affects Chili. I'm kind of not interested in that guy. If it's other time, it, it's all about Chili. <laughs> well, but if it's drama between channels based on Chile, I, well, I'm, not I get, that. I'm, I'm not talking about that. That's not what I'm talking about. All about. right. Yeah, I'm talking about what I made a video about the other day. Sir, I am just trying to clarify. I got you. Yeah, no, I mean, he literally called anybody that supported Chile out and said, disprove me, prove me wrong. Uh, and if you recall, I made the video where I said, okay, here you go. Right. Yes, so, and I'm sure he too sat right up and took notice of it. Yeah, yeah I'm sure he did, and I and I thought by maybe putting him on the live stream, he he would like to make contact with me. <laughs> I would love yeah. it. I would love sure. it. I yeah, I mean, if it came down to it, I I got no problem getting on oh, the panel. I'd, and I'd, I'd certainly asking love him more. questions. Oh, he's sharp. The guy, the guy's not an idiot. Well, he has some. He has some dumb beliefs um yeah. Oh, yeah. In, oh. in, in inaccurate beliefs i should say i mean he um definitely well, some, definitely some soft it i think he was catering the chili also sure you they're know, in the same rat they're in the same racket right i mean he was going on chili's channel and, and doing it for him but you know uh, just so so far gone on so much crap i mean uh, uh, I want to get started because I, I'll just bypass it. All right, you entertain a minute. Let me see if I can find those uh, newspaper articles. All right. Da, 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 What's up, Pat's cats? Da, da, da. Um, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I wish I had the video ready to go. I'm so sorry, guys. I tried my best. Um. I think I, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to find that Mendesum video and we'll watch that because that's fun. Again, if you guys uh, haven't seen any of his stuff, uh, check him out. His last chili video is outstanding. And I'm going to share it just a second. Give me one second. Uh, did, uh, here we go. Let me see if I can get this rolling. Shit. I'm sorry, guys. My reflexors are shot today. Uh, is it sharing? I don't see it sharing. Huh. Can you guys tell me if you can see that on the screen? Sorry. Sorry, technical difficulties for a second, guys. Real professional. What's happening? Yeah. Hmm. Nope. Yeah. You can... 
I think Ram might have to do that. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. All right. Now I've lost my spot here. Sorry about that. Uh, I was looking. Oh, oh, that's right. We got Linda. What am I thinking? I'm an idiot. Um, I'm looking for Men Daysome. Uh, he just released a video called Chili's uh, Inner Voice, something like that. Um, if you can find that, it's M-E-N-D-A-C-E-M. -E Sorry, guys. It's been a long week, and my cat is uh, sick. I got to take him to the vet, and my wife's upset about it. So I'm not – and I'm agitated about not getting my video done. So, um, No worries, my man. Hold on. I got it right here. Okay. Sorry, I feel like that was the worst stall ever. Oh. You go back to the live stream tonight, cut, just cut that shit right out of there. <laughs> That'll be all right. They're used to it. They've been doing, some of them have been doing live streams with me for a while. Yeah, I want to. I want to get this. I want to. At least we're not guy. getting timed out. Yeah, right. Um, I definitely want you guys to uh, check this guy's. All right, here we Step go. Out. Leaves my attorney. Do I look sorry enough? Maybe I should cry. Shake my head. I wish I hadn't skipped that class on crying during acting school. Keep shaking your head, Chili. Look sad. Don't look up. Grovel, Chili. Grovel. Is that you, Gia? No, you're dressed too nicely. Concentrate, Chili. Look sad. Shake your head. Now sob. Sob again, Chili. Good. I'm pulling this off. <laughs> Just like my audition for the Black Power Ranger. Ooh, I'm killing ouch. this. Look up. Shift your feet. Look down again. Sad <laughs> face. Another sob. Sniffle. Great ah, job, Chili. Bury your chin on your chest. I hate this cop-loving prosecutor. Deep, dramatic breath. Sniffle. She's the devil. They're all devils. Why don't they like me? Everyone likes me. That's right, Judge. Look at how contrite I am. So contrite. This is me. Chili, being contrite. So he's going to apologize to me in a minute, but that's not what he's saying on what he's publishing online in his phone calls from the jail. That's not what he's saying at all. Oh, shit. She's not buying my act. This is going sideways. Did my simps really pay 25 grand of their hard-earned but easily separated dollars for this? Your Honor, I recognize that's what he was sort of doing for a living. And this is, um, I, he's now being incarcerated. I, and so uh, what he's saying in the couple of weeks since he's been incarcerated, when he calls from the jail and public. I hate you, Zimmerman. I hate you, your prosecutor, and that fugly marshal of yours who gave me an unlawful order to get my feet off the courtroom but bench. Fuck you, Judge. And his behavior was un in unacceptable in court, but that's not what I sentenced him for. I did not sentence him for his behavior in court. I sentenced him for his behavior for the two charges that he faced. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so your motion is denied. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good, good stuff, man. Yeah. Congratulations, man. That was, uh, that's the best one I've seen so far. Let's but check all his stuff. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's check the short one out here. I just yeah. got two more. Let's check yeah. this one out. For sure. They're all worth watching. Let's have a laugh. Let's have a laugh. And you, I'm telling you guys, yeah. Uh, we all need a laugh today. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This guy's got talent. Yeah. Uh, anybody living in the, uh, mid, Mid south and east tonight. That storm has picked up momentum since it left me last night, and it rattled us pretty hard last night. Yeah, 
it's hitting the Tennessee Valley and, and going through there with uh, yep, yep. the force right now. All right, let's see. We got her all ready to go. Looks like it. And the Honorable Judge Zimmerman presiding. Oh, Please be seated. Come to order. It's a little loud, Ram. Yeah. All right, Jose De Castro, 23 CR 01315. Good morning. 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 Extraordinarily disrespectful fashion and referred to the marshal in the most inappropriate way. Uh, I then saw some other things that I would consider very poor in the courtroom. Uh, and and uh, Mr. DeCastro was convicted. He, he is given six. God, I hope she believes my attorney. Do I look sorry enough? Maybe I should cry. Shake my head. I wish I hadn't skipped that class on crying during acting school. Keep your head chilly. Looks sad. Don't look up. Gravel chilly. Significant constitutional issues. The court addressed it, but what I did notice is that this should have been really briefed beforehand on First Amendment issues, so the court could have had that. That's no fault of. And so with that, Your Honor, I asked for an OR. I would just say a reasonable bail. I, I would suggest that since he came to the trial, since he already has gotten a taste of what inappropriate behavior in a courtroom looks like and feels like, I would ask for a bail in the amount of ten or twenty thousand dollars, appeal bond in the amount of ten or twenty thousand dollars. With that, Your Honor, I see this. Your Honor, may I respond orally? Typically, uh, pursuant to the Nevada rules of criminal practice, the state has 10 days uh, to file an opposition, but this was placed on calendar very quickly. So I would ask for leave of the court to answer um, orally. Okay. Is that you, Gia? No, you're dressed too nicely. Concentrate, Chili. Look sad. Shake your head. Now sob. Sob again, Chili. Go. I'm pumped. Just like my audition for the Black Power Ranger. I'm killing this. Look up. Shift your feet. Look Wait. Out. Sad face. Another sob. Sniffle. Ah, job, Chili. Bury your chin on your chest. I hate this cop loving prosecutor. Deep dramatic breath. Sniffle. She's the devil. They're all devils. Why don't they like me? Everyone likes me. And so at this point, I would ask um, that the six months uh, sentence that you imposed stand and that he remain in custody. <laughs> But given the fact that I think he really is contrived for, for what he's done. That's right, Judge. Look at how contrite I am. <laughs> yeah, <it's> contrite. <laughs> this is me, Chili, being contrite. So he's going to apologize to me in a minute, but that's not what he's saying on what he's publishing online in his phone calls from the jail. That's not what he's saying at all. Oh, shit. She's not buying my act. This is going sideways. Did my simps really pay 25 grand of their hard earned but easily separated dollars for this? Are you aware that he has a trial pending in Las Vegas Municipal Court? He has a case pending in Good Springs Justice Court where he continues to manufacture situations where he's been arrested. 
Your Honor, I recognize that's what he was sort of doing for a living, and this is, um, I, he's now being incarcerated. I, and so, what he's saying in the couple of weeks since he's been incarcerated, when he calls from the jail and he's public. I hate you, Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. I hate you, your prosecutor, and that fugly marshal of yours who gave me an unlawful order to get my feet off the courtroom bench. Fuck you, judge. And his behavior was un in unacceptable in court, but that's not what I sentenced him for. I did not sentence him for his behavior in court. I sentenced him for his behavior for the two charges that he faced. Yes, sir. All right, so your motion is denied. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear yeah that's uh, what i hear most of the time with chili that's cat, that applies to you my friend uh did you get catch that, the super chat yeah the capella doesn't that, isn't that like headache or face that the uh, reference to a headache uh sure did you that say so? I thought so. Well, no, I think no. That's Capaglia. I, think that's Cap, uh, Cap, Cap, Capaglia, I believe is is another term for uh, headache or. Well, let's look it up. Something like that is yeah. one of the most common disorders of the nervous systems. Uh, that's cephalia. I don't. I don't think that's the same spelling. But uh, let us know, Cephalia, if you're out there. Someone will have to quiz them about that. Capilia, Capilia. Tell us about your name. Yeah. Cool. Uh, thank you for the dollar uh, ninety nine. Yeah, uh, men's. Uh, hey, uh, hey uh, Flag, very, Derp. what's going on, man? Yeah, Derp's here. I was gonna say we got two uh, talented creators there. Three. Yeah, maybe you guys should uh, hook up and collab on some stuff, man. It's always fun. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm going to get to be a part of one of Derp's upcoming projects. Um, cool. Do you, do, uh, do you have those newspaper things, or do we want to skim yeah. over those? Or Well, I've got it here. I mean, it's... Um... Yeah, just pop it up on screen for a second and see if we can laugh at anything in there. I think this may be the first article. Let me see here. Uh, let me get it up here first. I can look at it. Uh, self self proclaimed YouTuber, self proclaimed. Hey, go back up to the headline there. I want to read the headline. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, YouTuber, self proclaimed First Amendment auditor gets six months behind bars. Well, that's pretty no nonsense. Actually, I think they have a video on it, too. Oh, there we go. Hey, back up. Back up. You're not involved. Listen. You can film, but you need to stay away from my driver. Back up. Back up or I'm going to detain you. We're obstructing. Get away from my car stop. See, it was one thing. Here's the deal said. He said, prove to me that Chili didn't back up. Okay. There you go. Okay. Listen. She deserves, she deserves privacy. This is not your business. Okay. You're being detained right now. Hey, where's your car? Is everything okay? Yeah, I was nice. in an accident. It wasn't my fault. I was at a red light and this guy ran totally. right into me. I'm still hurting. That's not fair. Do Maybe Chili that? should I hire do. this I lawyer. My boy, Eric Roy. <laughs> Great minds think alike. There you go, Chili. Call your boy, ladies. Eric Roy. It's your boy here. Holy ben shit. Injured. I take the gloves off. I go to battle. That looks like you. ginger snap. That's right. Call your boy, Eric Roy. Wow. You call your boy, Eric Roy. Come over to my car. Come on. They're going to go to my marshal. Hi, Tina. Excuse me? I said he's a pig. Okay. Sir, I'm not going to permit you to speak to anybody in my courtroom in that manner. And if you don't want to apologize, I'm going to hold you in contempt. I apologize to the court, Your Honor. Because this helps his YouTube channel. 
he called the officers here in my courtroom to take pigs. He called me, and he's not his head up and down. So apparently he hates every law enforcement officer in the United States. All right, please stand up, sir. Are you finished with your request for credit for time, sir? Hey, Las Vegas. It's your boy Hello. here. It's that's your boy it. Roy again. That's um, it. what's that's up, it. unclean hands? Just let it play for a second and mute it. Um, unclean hands is here. Everybody, say howdy. And um, I think Tina's here. Yeah, Tina's here too. What's up, yeah. Tina? Tonto, Lisa, Mr. Showbar. What's up, guys? Yeah, I, I want to keep watching this. This looks it was, good. that was it. Oh, that was it. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put the article back up there if you don't mind. Okay, just hang on. Right. We got to get rid of this. Come on, I want it now. Adver this advertising. Gotcha. Um, it's still going. So yeah. they literally just played part of Chile, uh, part of the body cam, and then the our Nevada judges. Uh, we'll just mute it. You can you can have it up without it, the sound. It doesn't have any sound. Huh. Sounds like a riddle. Um, yeah, everybody subbed to, I'm sure you're all subbed to Unclean Hands by now, but if you're not, you definitely should. My brain hurts for five bucks. Chili's a liar. End of story. Always has been, always will be. Yep. Um, yeah, unless he gets some kind of psychological uh, intervention. This is all um, that phone call, all of his phone calls, everything he does in court. It's all based on Chili's needs at the moment. You know what I mean? Um, and his impulse control is is the problem. You able to find that, Ram? Yeah, just, I mean, it's, it's right. It's right here. It's just the article. I mean, the, the video is over. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to go, when it came time for uh, YouTuber Jose Chili De Castro to be his sentence on obstructing justice charge, on an obstructing justice charge for interfering with a Las Vegas police traffic stop, the prosecutor wanted him to be placed on probation. But Justice of the Peace and Zimmerman had other ideas. Well, there you go. She sure did. She ordered De Castro to serve. 180 days in the Clark County Detention Center and after fi or after finding him guilty in a March bench trial. The self-proclaimed First Amendment auditor and constitutional scholar. Oh, they got it wrong. Didn't get the full quote. Constitutional law scholar, dunce cap, had been <laughs> accused of intentionally getting in the way of an officer to film a traffic stop and refusing to back up when asked. Is that suspended? DeCastro's attorney asked, and I think that was DeCastro. Yeah, it was. Uh, questioning if the 180 day sentence would act as more of a deterrent while DeCastro was on probation. Oh, no, it's going to start right now, the judge announced as she stood to walk out of the courtroom while marshals handcuffed DeCastro. Uh, you scoot down a little bit. In a bench trial, a judge renders a verdict rather than a jury. And by the way, Chile could have had a jury trial. Yep. and waived it. So all of his um, idiot supporters that are leaving those comments, that's on Chile. This wasn't the first time DeCastro, 49, has been in trouble with law enforcement. Uh-oh. He told police officers he had been arrested four other times for filming the police across the country, <laughs> according to body camera footage. Wow. Dig your own grave and save. His YouTube channel, Delete Laws, with more than 500,000 alleged, I'm adding that, subscribers, is full of hundreds of videos where he spends hours talking about police body camera recordings and footage from other self-proclaimed, at least they put that in there, auditors. In some of his videos, he films his own interactions with police officers where he frequently curses at officers or calls them pigs. The channel advertises DeCastro's various cash apps and a $25 flyer. Well, she, they did a little bit of a dive on him. Uh, titled, Learn the Law, Know Your Rights. Well, we all affectionately know it as the Trifold. 
that De Castro claims he will ship to customers from Los Angeles, although court records indicate he currently lives in Henderson. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little iffy. Um, oh shit. Hang on a second. God damn it. My, uh, Sorry, my my editing program popped up a window in front of me. I had to get rid of uh, the channel. Ever, although court records indicate he currently lives in Henderson at the trial before Zimmerman, DeCastro claimed he makes money by selling legal documents to people. Right? It seems to me, from observing him in the video, that he wants this. The judge said after finding DeCastro guilty. He wants to get arrested. He wants to get into an altercation with police officers. He welcomes this. This helps his YouTube channel. Uh, heading a parking lot traffic stop on March 5th. This is pretty in-depth, uh, more in-depth than I thought. Uh, on March 15th, 2023, DeCastro walked up to a woman who had been pulled over by a police officer in a parking lot near Flamingo Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Body camera footage showed the officer, Brandon Bork, step out of his car and tell DeCastro to back away and stop speaking with the driver. You can film, but you need to stay away from my driver, the officer said. De Castro and the officer argued for the next minute and a half until De Castro said, mind your business, I'm a member of the press, go get in your car and do your job, little doggy. The officer told De Castro he was being detained. Body-worn camera footage showed De Castro being placed in handcuffs and standing in front of a police vehicle as multiple officers arrived for backup. While waiting for a sergeant to arrive on scene, DeCastro continued to insult officers, occasionally using graphic sexual language. <laughs> uh. He also told officers multiple times that they were hurting his arms. That old standby. Uh, by the time a sergeant arrived at the scene, DeCastro told multiple officers he would sue them <laughs> and asked repeatedly not to be taken to jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to sue you. Don't take me to jail. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, what you're doing is fine, the sergeant told him. You just can't get involved in the middle of a car stop. That's all. So hopefully lesson learned from here on out. Reasonable. Yep. Court records show that DeCastro was arrested again on February 14th at the scene of a fatal hit and run cra crash near Charleston and Decatur Boulevards. That was earlier this year. Uh, footage, footage posted to DeCastro's YouTube page showed him telling officers to shut up and mind your business when they asked what he was doing at the crime scene. He has pleaded not guilty to a charge of obstruction in Las Vegas Municipal Court, where he is scheduled to appear on May 1st. Next heading, uh, contentious bench trial. At the beginning, yep. can you go down a little, buddy? Just a hair. There you go. At the beginning of DeCastro's bench trial on March 19th, he called a courtroom marshal a pig uh, after the judge told him to turn over his phone. Zimmerman said he, she hadn't approved a media request for DeCastro to record the hearing. Zimmerman threatened to hold DeCastro in contempt of court until he apologized to the marshal. Later in the trial, DeCastro was seen shaking his head when the prosecutor, Chief Deputy District Attorney Agnes Botello, argued that DeCastro had been detained to protect the officer's safety after he would not follow instructions. Did we see that on the, I don't remember seeing that on the camera, but, um, hmm. uh, okay. Up a little bit, please. This is not a first amendment issue. Botello told the judge, as you heard over and over and over again on the video, the officer Bork did not have a problem with the defendant recording. Uh, DeCastro's attorney, Michael Mee, argued that although Bork testified that officers are trained to instruct people to stand about 20 feet back from the scene, that the training is not supported by any federal law. He argued that DeCastro had a First Amendment right to film the officers and speak to the driver uh, and that he was illegally detained for it. Right. That was his um, ill-fated First Amendment in defense. Bork testified that all testified that although DeCastro swatted at him, he did not believe that DeCastro was trying to hurt him. The case law is that you can passively resist an unlawful arrest, Me said. Huh. Me did not respond to a request for comment. Before convicting DeCastro, the judge noted that his defense attorney's argument did not address the officer's safety concerns. 
later in the hearing, as Zimmerman was speaking about DeCastro's apparent hatred of police, DeCastro nodded his head and flashed the judge a thumbs up sign. The thumbs up heard around the world. He called officers here in my courtroom today pigs, and he's nodding his head. So apparently he hates every law enforcement officer in the United States, Zimmerman said shortly before sentencing DeCastro to jail time. As he was handcuffed at the end of the trial, DeCastro claimed, yes, they've made the quote. It was a travesty of justice that he was being sent to jail. Awesome. Uh, DeCastro has since hired prominent Las Vegas defense attorney Christopher Orem to represent him for an appeal. Orem declined further comment on the case on Thursday. DeCastro has also filed a motion to be released from jail or be granted bail. We know how that went. Um, wow. I wonder how many people have, how many people have emailed that reporter a bunch of shit about Chile. I'm guessing one or two at least. Yeah, or I'm declined to comment because they have a lot of homework to do. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, he said something about being uh, just being on a murder case too. Right. Yeah. So that's, like, he was kind of I think he was kind of caught off guard there he tried to go with the first amendment deal and um yeah she shut him down pretty i mean i i thought she did it fairly politely you know because you um, could tell you could tell he really didn't have his ducks in a row yet yeah did they cover um the bail hearing probably not in favor yeah no they did oh they did really yeah. Yep. Interesting. That, that was the first. That was the first. I, and the reason why I, I'm interested in that is because I want to see <laughs> if they describe Chili's <laughs> demeanor. Yeah. And, yeah, give me a minute. Oh Let's man, see. I'm wondering what adjectives will be used, if any. But that was a pretty good. I mean, it wasn't. It yeah, was no, good. that was a that was a pretty decent article for. Yeah, one or two minor little bit strong, but uh, overall they went way further in depth than I was expecting. Well, you got you got to keep in mind we know the ins and outs of all this, right? Yeah, but it seems like somebody actually. Uh, hey, look, man, I don't know if you ever run in any like big city like TV oh, yeah. reporters or anything. Oh like yeah, that. Oh, they yeah. don't they don't fucking vet shit. They're not really interested. I mean, this is a newspaper reporter, so it's a little different, you know. I've I've even, his... I've even I've even had him get the the dates wrong on on yeah it's ridiculous yeah and it's even worse when you're talking about television yeah yeah the television yeah. reporters are horrible yeah okay. they're they're the they're the worst they don't do any research or whatever no. they're just trying to get their quick foot and get the get the fuck out of there get out of there where the hell did that article go? I read it today. Yeah, they did an interview with my boss when I worked at a studio, and it was some breaking music story. So I worked at a studio. They sent a, a van over, you know, with some uh, uh, blonde lady, you know, some smile on a stick. And uh, she came in and just wanted to ask general music questions because of whatever the hell was going on. And um, so they interviewed my boss, and then they used like a three second clip of him saying something in the end. And it's, it gave his name at the bottom and they didn't even bother to find out like what a, a proper title for him or anything. So it literally said music production guy. That was the title. they <laughs> <laughs> Music production guy. <laughs> yep. Music production guys are the most sought after guys in the music business. All right, what do we got? We got. Yeah, it. I had a uh, I had a building once that uh, caught fire from the outside. Had three different news stations show up, and all three of them uh, caused the fire. Was different from each one. <laughs> it tur turned out to be a homeless guy built a fire to keep warm. <laughs> caught, wow. the out caught the outside of the building on fire. Got scared and ran. Wow. Uh, okay, let's see what we got here. Fun times. Let me. See. Uh, same author, Caitlin Newberg, Las Vegas Review right. Journal. You want me to play? You want me to play the video first? Oh yeah, there. Wait. Oh yeah. Sure. 
say hello to this glorious oh god damn it in nature can you feel the energy the verb the kitty i can feel it alive and kicking luckily Hooray. Humans, nature's way put that feeling in a bottle the Multi -vitamins hell vitamins inspired by yeah, nature. man nature's way oh come on really sorry guys sorry yeah and i can't I'm trying to get to the volume control here yeah Oh. oh, it pauses it. You turn the volume off and it pauses it. What oh. a piece of crap. Castro was sentenced to 180 days in jail last month by Las Vegas Justice of the Peace Ann Zimmerman for obstructing a police officer and resisting arrest. The 49-year-old was accused of interfering with a Metropolitan Police Department officer during a traffic stop by refusing to back <laughs> up when he was filming. In a hearing today, DeCastro was looking to receive bail while he appeals his conviction, but that request was denied. While in jail, DeCastro has called into a live stream hosted on his YouTube channel. Oh. Where he talked about Zimmerman and stated, quote, I do not know how she can sleep at night. Oh, he also no. said he took, quote, full responsibility for being sent to jail. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Really? That's annoying. Can you skip through the ad? Oh, look at that. There's a little skip ad. There you go. Oh, and come get, on. And we got another one. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sorry, gang. Well, Sorry. when you're not subscribed, I get it. I mean, you know, they're, they're trying to get you subscribed to yeah. online stuff. Yep, yep. Okay. Is this the same thing? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, so that was it. Okay, Village MD so is a clinic found primarily right, cool. inside Walmart. All right, well, that was interesting that they pulled a quote out of one of his live streams i mean they gotta be i want wow that's somebody was uh paying attention good job las vegas oh wait we still have the article yeah hang on i lost no. it i lost it i just god yeah. damn it uh, calm down what the fuck we're uh yeah. we have four and five thousand subscribers each now and uh we should be uh a little more professional sir um yeah speaking of that i will be getting maybe uh, colin uh, maybe colin would like like a job yeah <laughs> I get maybe. Colin in here to do it for me yeah um oh, I search out the last time yeah i gotta get that the, the premium stream yard and stuff sorry guys i'm kind of operating with what i can for right now so we, we will step it up it's not always going to be quite this janky it's rough around the edges. Right. This is rough around the edges. Get rid of the video and make it go away. Okay. And then let me uh, see. It's going to have all sorts of advertising pop up here. Subscribe. Perfect. Okay, let's get into it real quick. A Las Vegas judge denied bail on Monday for a YouTuber who is appealing his conviction for resisting arrest and obstructing a police officer. Las Vegas Justice of the Peace and Zimmerman sentenced Jose Chili. Oh, man, they even put his little uh, nickname in there, DeCastro49, to 180 days in the Clark County Detention Center during a bench trial last month. A self-proclaimed First Amendment honor and constitutional scholar. Uh, it's hard to say yeah, when okay. you don't say law scholar. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, no, I'm just trying to... It seems like some of the same content from the other one. Uh, DeCastro was... Yeah, you know, sure, she cut and paste a little. Was accused of interfering with a Metropolitan Police Department officer during a traffic stop by refusing backup when he was filming. Since his conviction, DeCastro has hired prominent Las Vegas defense attorney Christopher Orem to represent him for an appeal at the cost of... What did he say? $25,000? Anybody know if that's true? Or believe it? Like 24, 25, yeah. Or asked Zimmerman to grant DeCastro bail and said that his client wanted to apologize for his disrespectful behavior during the trial. I think he is really contrite for what he has done. I disagree, Zimmerman replied. Have you watched the videos that's been posted since he's been incarcerated? Zimmerman, Zimmerman yeah, it's clear that uh, uh, he um, Orem covered himself in the um, hearing. He was like, well, I haven't had, really had a chance to... Uh, vet all this stuff 100 percent, but um uh can you scoot it down a little bit so it's being cut off there um okay zimmerman denied the bail request while the castro appeals the case 
following the hearing, Orem said it's rare for judges to grant bail after someone has been convicted. DeCastro also has a case pending in Las Vegas Municipal Court. He was arrested in a separate incident uh-oh, in February after he uh, uh, filmed. Oh, she mentioned this in the prior article. Too. Right. She After he filmed officers at a hit and run crash scene, he has pleaded not guilty to a charge of obstruction. Chief Deputy Agnes Botello, uh, Deputy Chief Deputy District Attorney Agnes Botello, said Monday that DeCastro has an active warrant in Ohio on a misdemeanor trespassing charge. Court records also show he is facing a civil citation in Good Springs for failing to obey a traffic control device. I thought he paid a fine on that, I thought that was done with. But. Uh, in a video posted on March 28th, DeCastro called a man who was live streaming through DeCastro's YouTube channel, Delete Laws, at, with a Z, with a Z. Yep. Uh, the video started with the man hosting the live stream, showing viewers a picture of Zimmerman and saying, I do not know how she can sleep at night. Uh-oh. When DeCastro called in the live stream from jail, he said he took full responsibility for being sent to jail. Then he started talking about the judge, <laughs> there are police officers <laughs> in her family. The jail terminated the calls. He continued to talk about Zimmerman. He's going to apologize to me in a minute, but that's not what he's saying on what he's publishing online in his phone calls from the jail. That's not what he's saying at all, Zimmerman said Monday. On March 15, 2023, DeCastro walked up to a woman who had been pulled over by police in a parking lot near Flamingo Road in Grand Canyon Drive. Yes, we know this part. That's the arrest, the original arrest. DeCastro told the officers to mind your business. Yes, that's also uh, from the previous article. Orem told the judge Monday that there isn't much case law in Nevada addressing filming police officers. Which is irrelevant. Nobody is complaining about that. Nobody wants to complain about that. Even Bork told him on scene. It's not a problem. I recognize that it's obnoxious behavior. That's what it appears to be. Whether it's protected is another thing that I think higher courts need to look at. And you know what's great about that? Now it's on a court record that Chile, um, his attorney says, yes, he does this for a living. Yes. This is his job. So it's that, that was not a, um, good. Uh, during the bench trial, Castro called the court martial pig. I think we went through all this. Yes. Yeah, so flashed the judge a thumbs up sign when she said it appeared he hated all police officers. Zimmerman said Monday that she did not sentence to Castro due to his behavior during the trial or for filming the officers. That was not the issue. It was the safety issues that he created with his behavior. Well, another good article from Caitlin Newberg of the uh, Las Vegas Review Journal. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, shit, guys. You, uh, you guys having fun, man? I hope so. This is nice. Um, I do need to go because I got to get that video done, and I got to run Jamie over to the store um, uh, before. Uh, so um, if you guys um, – are you uh, going to hang out, Ram? Yeah, I'm not, going, I'm not going anywhere yet. Okay. Um, I apologize. Maybe I got to maybe out. watch a video or two. Copy that. All right, buddy. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, thanks, DP. You know, yeah. Um, and again, thanks to Ram. I don't know if I thanked him adequately. I know we had our four and five K subscriber thing last night. Um, and we were we we didn't really do anything about that. It was all about chili, but um, I appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed and um, are following my stuff. It does keep me going, man. Seeing all you guys show up to the live streams. It's like real fuel because I'm telling you, it can be draining making chili videos all the time. It's <laughs> absolutely just, the fuel. And, you know, it, but you know, it's a choice on my part at this point. So I can't really, you know, I can walk away from it. So I got no one to blame but myself, but I appreciate you guys all being there and watching it. I'm telling you, man, I could not do any of this without Ram, man. He's like been there since day one for me. Um, Hi, you too, buddy. Good, good guy. And it's I'm mutual proud, feeling. Really proud to be associated with him. And um, yeah, man. Um, like I said, we're trying to do some more regular lives, and I'm trying to arrange it so you know I can um, at least be on a little more uh, frequent schedule with uh, videos and stuff. And also, I'd like to 
God, steer away from Chile at some point. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that because, oh, my God. But well, um, I, I, I'm definitely steered away tonight. I'm going back to I'm going to do a shoplifting video or something just to get him out of my head. <laughs> cool. Probably a good idea. All yeah. right. I'm going to go pound that video out right now. Um, All right, and, buddy. Uh, you, um, I'll try and get it up as soon as I can. Yeah, I mean, Thank, you thanks know, for your patience. You get, if you get it out and we're still we're still here, we're here. You know, nice. Yeah. Um, I doubt you'll still be on, but um, at that point. Never know. We stayed on till four in the morning one time, didn't we, Linda? Oh, shit. Well, uh, <laughs> hey, that happened tonight. Well, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to see it. So thanks, everybody. Um, have a great night, and uh, we'll see you on the next Danny. Danny says we're having a bromance moment. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> You ought, feel hear, it? You, ought well, hear, you ought to hear our private phone calls. <laughs> you know what? Before I go, why not? I'll just announce it. We were going to keep it secret, but and we were going to announce it yesterday, but people would have thought it was an April Fool's joke. But uh, Ram and I uh, are getting married. So there you go. It's for uh, strict. Oh, yeah. No, no. Let's leave. Yeah, no. Let's not go any further down that road. Nope. And on that note, everybody, thanks for being here. I, I really appreciate all you guys. And uh, all right, but see you later. Oh, okay. Holy moly, got that out of the way. So uh, let's see. I did play both of the latest video on Man Deason's channel. And I don't know if uh, Dirk's still around, but we opened the show tonight with a Dirk video. And I really, since we're running, what is it, nine, a little more than an hour, I really don't want to get into the here's the deal thing right now. I do it later. Just to kind of ticks me off some of the things that came out of his mouth. Let's see what we got here. What do you guys think? You think we ought to get away? Let's get away from Chile. Let's, let's check out. Most everybody likes. Uh, let's see here. Give me a second while I look at something here. How about a little donut operator? Does that sound good? Rather than this video. Oh, no, I uh, I played uh, the newest. I'll go back there, but I played the newest uh, decent video, and then we played the second one on the list. But I'll go back and look and make sure. Yeah, I don't think. Thanks, Navy Tech. Appreciate it. Did you? All right. All right. Let me. Navy Tech said he sent a bit. Let me pull up my email real quick. This is a pain in the ass because I have to go through my main account to get to my other account. Back down so I can go back over to StreamYard. Let's see what we have here. Cheers.
says teen goes to war for oh 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 yeah i have this uh yeah this is uh, up in wisconsin i've got this video i actually i don't know if i finished it i it's uh linda had sent me uh this the other night and i started a video on it and then uh with the storms came through last night i had a tree knock out the uh, fence and had some shingles off my roof end up all over the place and uh, so i kind of had a busy day following an april fool's day that was just one bad moment after another i received uh and some of you in here might uh most most everybody in here is is newer but uh linda recalls and i think uh danny and a few of the maybe even a bond been around a while but a friend of mine tj passed away uh, she'd been battling cancer for uh, for oh most of last last part of last year and, and going into the first part of this year and it was it was terminal and I mean, we knew it but it's still hard when when uh when it's all said and done that nasty ass cancer took another one and, uh, and she was uh 58 years old too so she still had a lot left in her and i really feel for her mom more than anything because it's so hard uh, she was actually a caretaker for her mother uh, to be a parent lose a child it's pretty tough pretty tough all right is that up on the screen yes it is all right yeah we'll watch this um normally i probably wouldn't do it because it'll spoil my video but it doesn't matter because uh, I mean, yeah, I lost I lost my brother Pat Gaps. He was um he was fifty four years old uh, when I lost him and um and you know a lot of it was self inflicted. He had a really bad drug addiction, uh alcohol, uh, you name it, he battled both for years and uh I wasn't close to my father but he was he was 52 pancreatic cancer so yeah i mean i i kind of feel like uh everything i got going some bonus like watch all the of course most of the men in my family they my dad was an alcoholic i mean come on i don't drink and i don't drink because i i never see anything good come from alcohol and uh both my brother and my father i can i can say that al alcohol was a, a major contributing factor <laughs> not all of it pretty much all of it with my dad but my brother just wasn't very kind to himself anyway enough of that crap but we did have a hell of a storm i really feel sorry for the people in tennessee valley and stuff right now that storm picked up um, momentum as it passed through here last night and it's moving real slow and it's got that there's golf ball size hail yeah alcoholism right past cats yeah but i i'm a true believer that moderation is important regardless of what it is excess of anything is not good including relationships <laughs> but alcohol yeah it just uh it, it just yeah just not uh it's just not good i and, and i i kind of feel like a hypocrite and those that, those that know me fairly well know that 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 my livelihood for a lot of years was based upon uh the sale of alcohol but i mean i i never looked at it that way um i don't criticize anybody for doing what they want to do it's just had bad effects on my life so i don't have a whole lot good to say about it yeah and and you know i think we're all past cats i i, I think we're all addicts to an extent, I think it's human nature to want to alter your state of mind. 
and I, but alcohol is not the way to go uh, or sniffing paint <laughs> or drinking or drinking vanilla extract <laughs> and that video still gets me and i and i found more like that i don't know if you guys saw that video i did on the vanilla extract 20 bottles of vanilla extract she had emptied out in the front seat of her car and she was just totally out of it yeah yeah yankee sam he is a soft set um i i actually have uh been familiar with him for a long time because he is actually kind of local to me and uh he's within he's within 80 miles of uh he, he was a second amendment uh advocate uh, in his early days it's pretty much everything was second amendment stuff and uh i remember one of the first videos i saw of him he um him, his wife, and I think his daughter had just turned 18. And so they were out driving around and, and all three of them had the sidearms strapped on. And we're an open carry, you know, mm. uh, open carry state. Uh, we're concealed too with, you know, with permit. And his, uh, his daughter had gone into like a roadside convenience store, kind of more of a country type deal and uh, like a mom-pop type place, maybe had a gas station there too, I, I don't recall. And it kind of uh, kind of threw the clerk or somebody for a loop, but I guess they called law enforcement. Law enforcement showed up and it was, uh, it was I think, kind of premeditated maybe on their part. Um, and it was like maybe one of his first audits. That's probably 12 years ago, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Basin, yeah, I'll look here in a minute. Let me uh let me see how long is this video? Oh hell, this thing's 20, 20 some minutes long. I'm gonna put this on hold for a minute. Um text just because this short, since I played the first one, let me see if I can get back over here to it. <laughs> I won't go anywhere for a while. If, if you guys want to, what you guys know, if you want to watch videos, I, it's not hard to get me to stick around. Okay, so let's see here. Videos. Um, okay, that says a month ago. Uh, is it a short? Oh, I see what happened. Hold on. There we go. 32 minutes ago. Yeah, I was I looked a few minutes ago. Wasn't there? This did drop real recent. Okay. Let me pull this up. Ta -da, ta -da. Let me share that screen. Get the ball rolling here. All right. Yeah, this looks like a good one. Um, thanks for recording and posting my pretend lesson learned my thoughts call this morning. Um, excellent, excellent script and video description you wrote there, bro. I got to be honest, though. I'm still a bit nervous how my DLZ followers will react to my my new message of personal responsibility and change in tone towards that mega bitch Miss Zimmerman and Jack Boot thug pig in general. What are my people saying in the comments? Do they approve or disapprove of the uh, way I acted in court and subdued tone and message? They know I was acting, right? I can see how they might not have known. I was the, the Black Power Ranger, you know. I hope they understand that I really don't mean it and that I'm just saying what has to be said to improve my chances of getting out of this hell hole. For God's sake, man, I'm, I, I'm a goddamn nationally and internationally known journalist and constitutional law scholar. And um, by the way, you know what I said 
about Michael Mee and, and his ineffective assistance of counsel. That had always been one of our plan B strategies all along for appeal, just in case I got convicted. Michael's on board with all of that. He'll play along, trust me. If he doesn't, I'll dox his ass all across the internet. I'll make it so that no one will retain him, defend even a parking ticket. And you know what I said about the G-U-A-R-D-S. That wasn't true. I just said that so uh, those dumb motherfuckers would stop picking and picking and picking on me. God, they won't stop. In fact, they tell me all the time, Hey, Chili, we don't stop just like you. Chomp. I'm pricks. They wouldn't be able to treat me like they do if we were on the outside and they weren't wearing a gun. Beta male cucks. I hate them so much. The G-U-A-R-D-S's who can't spell. These dumb fucks. Now, you know that... Um, I don't want you to post this call to my channel, right, Brian? This call is for your ears only and the ears of the nice guards who have been so kind to me. And I suppose for the ears of that cop-sucking, cop-loving Miss Zimmerman who has always had it out for me because I'm smarter than her and I didn't even go to law school. Um, but let me just say before I end this call, Brian, that I hear um, that District Court Judge Michelle Levitt is quite the haughty and legal eagle. Kim Blenino, you know Kim, sent me a letter in here assuring me that Judge Levitt would take good care of me when she hears my appeal in July. Uh, and I'm not just saying this because I expect uh, Judge Levitt will listen to this call. No, no, I really, really mean it this time. You believe me, don't you, Brian? Brian? Ryan. This call is being terminated by the facility. Maybe Texas jumped on board with me here to help me out. What's up, Bo? Nothing much, man. Hey, let me uh, do. Let me check and see if I can get my headphones to connect. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Uh, There we go. Is that better? No, you're good. As long as you don't have an echo. Oh, no, I muted everything, so we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, nah, Chili, Chili, I tell you what, man. He, he Just like many of the other fraudsters, he's just his own worst enemy is really what it is. I say it every, I say it all the time. They incriminate themselves and just, just by recording everything. And he's so bad because he's, you know, he's so up and down, hit and miss, and he just... He says whatever is applicable to the situation. So he contradicts himself so much. It just makes it easy. He, he really does make it easy. Uh, that was I wonder if video. he's man. That, that was a good video. I like that. That was good. Yeah, that was good. I wonder and if they, he's manic because he seems to go back and forth all the time. He's very, very extreme both ways sometimes. And so I wonder if he's suffering from something like that. Too. He's a sociopath and he's a narcissistic. So put those two together and if that if that's manic then that's what it is or richard the very say a word the very <laughs> first the very first video i did on him i used a uh, psychology video and mm -hmm. uh, just because the one thing i noticed about him right off the bat i mean the guy's a sociopath there's just no doubt about it well, and the thing is, like, and I put this in the chat earlier, there's a thing, and I don't know if you covered it with him, but it's called Darvo. Have you ever heard of it? No. Well, I so it's basically, so. it's a term that they use for people who are like, with that have narcissistic tendencies and are very manipulative. It's called, it stands, it's a, it's an acronym that stands for deny, I think it's a deny, attack, reverse, victim, offender. Right? And so, like, you see with a bunch of these, um, uh, frauditors is that they're, they're always the victim, right? So they're the ones victimizing, but they do the same where they will attack the people that they're victimizing and then reverse the uh, victim offender role. And it's just, it's so typical of all these guys. Yeah. It's called Darvo Pat's cats. Yeah. Even the, uh, even the videos I do on the, um, 
what I call the headbangers, the DUI arrests, they always go through the same sequence. They start yeah. out real aggressive. Then they want the sympathy. Then they become the victim. Then when they get them into the booking, they try to be sophisticated for the cameras and try to make it look like, uh, you know, they didn't pull any of the shit to get there. Yeah, it's interesting, though. They All, all of them go into that victim mode. <laughs> Jilly, I, I love I love the arrest uh, when when it uh, not well we don't have video of the arrest at the, on the at the uh, at the car accident because the video stopped we haven't seen any body cam footage from that yet we will after the trial I'm sure but um, when uh, Bork first grabbed him and arrested him chilly till he was already starting to give in okay man okay yeah <laughs> you know? oh yeah he's such a tough guy till somebody touches him well and the thing is you saw that he knew the moment he swatted that at that cop oh yeah and yeah and the one that he's uh that he just got convicted for like he knew he had messed up like he done yeah. fucked up yeah i don't um of course i don't buy this uh i don't buy this video that or this phone call that he made afterwards. I, you know, he's the, he's been self-aware of what he's been doing all along. He's trying to play like uh, this taught him a lesson and everything. And I'm sure that a lot of it's probably play for the May 1st uh, hearing would be well, my guess. He knows after, after his uh, bail got denied, when the judge told him like, this is not what he's saying on his phone calls online. It kind of hit chilly. Oh, oh my God! They're watching. They're watching what I'm doing. Well, no shit, Bubba. They know you're a YouTuber. This judge knows you. She got your number. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Everything in a jail. Everything in a jail is monitored. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's funny they act like people don't talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. One of the things, and that's what I'm saying, is that. If he did do this, like little like fake, oh, I'm, it was my fault. I'm sorry. It's because the judges are talking to each other, right? They know what's going on. Well, they might and, be now, you know. Yeah. And, and, but they certainly weren't when he went before. Uh, what was her name, Michelle or whatever, on Monday oh, yeah. when he had the hearing on that? Because right. when he said, "I have a, I have a trial tomorrow," she goes in 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 this court. You know, she was shocked. She was surprised. But from right. that point on, I'm sure they they've talked a little bit. Plus, I noticed uh, she was like the senior judge and said on her plaque, I think, or head honcho, uh, whatever they call themselves. Like the chief judge or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, chief judge. I think that's what it said. Yeah. Well, and she probably didn't really care because all she was there for was just the, mm -hmm. um, the plea, right? And, and all this kind of stuff. She wasn't there to do any of the actual. Oh, no. Yeah, that's just like it, it was basically a, a, just not a, yeah, like a. Not even a preliminary. Yeah. No, no. Pre-trial -pre would be like a preliminary hearing. Oh, that was like an arraignment for. Right, arraignment. That, that's what I was thinking. Right, that he understood the charges and da 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 da, and they and they call it pre-trial there. We call it uh, arraignment court. Well, yeah. Uh, arraignment. Arraignment comes first, obviously, and then you don't even have to have an attorney for that. Um, right. But the pretrial on May the first, it's going to be interesting to see because um, now that he has an attorney hired, this Orem, he'll have a little bit of time to prepare for it. And I, I yeah, I, I, I don't think they can go with the the First Amendment thing. I, I just, I, I don't see that. I just don't see that holding ground. Yeah, I think the only thing Chili has going for him in that uh, in that gas station arrest, the one cop did tell him that he could walk through, but I don't think he told him he could walk that way. I think he right. was directing him to go more up toward the building and, and cut through. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Even if he did, he's been instructed otherwise. So, right. yeah, I... Uh, I it, that just pisses me off. I just, I just, I just despise so much the way he does. I, I don't, I don't really care for any of the auditors that much. I mean, there's a few of them I can handle a little more than others. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, 
it's the, the antagonizing that I don't like. Yeah. Ass Elmo. And, uh, oh, God. AMA oh, God. is one of the worst. I cannot stand listening to that God, fat just, motherfucker. I, just, I did a couple of videos. Every time I do a video, I might get this message. I'm watching you. And that, oh, yeah, boy. that bone. He had that bonehead. Uh, called him his attorney. That bonehead uh, buddy of his, the bald-headed dude. Had oh, him write, yeah. write me an email. I did the one on when he went out to California, was moving his mom out there, or whatever. The department building, nighttime parking lot deal was all just a bunch of crap. He sent me a he sent me a message said they're watching me very close. And, all right. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Let's see what else we got here. I have, what is it? Nine nine forty. I'll go for about twenty more minutes. Real quick pull up. Uh, the only reason I'm stalling on that other video, I actually did start a video on that. But Linda had sent me a, uh, sent me that three nights ago, I think, and yeah. uh, I started on it, and I got sidetracked with everything else going on, and I don't think it's quite finished, but I do have it in my. Uh, oh, you're gonna! It's gonna be a great video then because that, that dude is nuts. Oh yeah, no, is... I, yeah, it, it's a good one. It's a good one. Let's see what else is here. Good. Only because last week we didn't even look at him. I know Donut has one of those. I think some dude got banged in the head. If I remember. It was one yeah. of his latest ones. That's that's where I'm going. I didn't last week I didn't didn't get a chance to play. Let's see. Ten days ago, I guess we yeah we did watch that one. Then we got oh no no we didn't see that one. He's not he's not putting any videos out. He must be on vacation or something. Probably who knows? I mean he's got so many people that he hangs yeah, out with that, down there. Now. Let me look at his other channel. Maybe maybe on his other channel. Yeah. Uh, well, his buddy Brandon Herrera is actually run. The funny thing is, so Brandon Herrera um, is you know he he has his own channel too, but he's running for. For representative, like U.S. representative for Texas, and the funny thing is, the guy he's running against is one of the guys I served with in the Navy. Like I've like served with this guy like on deployment, and not deployment, but I served with him uh, when I was stationed Hello. in San Antonio. Uh, hold on, there. So Sorry about that. I had to get that out. That's shit going on in the background. <laughs> Got too many things going at once. All right, let's. Yeah, you know, we didn't watch this. You know, some people are critical because the religious literature that kind of goes with the territory. Um, I mean, that's just the organization. Um, there are some that won't go to the homeless shelters because because of that. But I will say, for the most part, uh, we do a pretty good job. And I think I think socially around here too. Um, and I can say this: I've got a building that's just less than a quarter of a mile from I forty four, which is a major uh, viaduct. It's all Route sixty six, is what it is. That goes you know goes through our state and yeah. uh, some, oh, some yeah. transient and stuff. And, you know, the, for the most part, if they, you know, now, if they become a nuisance and, and so on and so forth, my deal is clean up after yourself. They even uh, use the outside plugs to charge up their their cell phones and so on and so forth. Uh, and I really, uh, I really kind of appreciate them being there, to be real honest with you. And as I mentioned earlier, the building we had, downtown that caught fire because they built a fire to keep themselves warm now had that building for close to 30 years and and that was the only time that ever happened now if it was something that was right. you know, habitual just over and was repetitive or something that I, I would do something but you know how how do you get upset with somebody that's in 15 degree weather and they <laughs> they just weren't thinking all that much you know they're just trying to keep warm 
Well, but, there's, I mean, I think there's like, because there's different types of homeless, right? There's, there's the ones that are out there that are, have like mental issues that are unaddressed and they can't help it. Right. And then there, there are people who, you know, things like, you know, the virus hit or, you know, the economy downturned and they just got up in. Oh, I've talked to, it, right? dude, I've, I've, I, you know, I used to volunteer down there. I, I've talked to people that, um, I, I've talked to people that were successful and yeah. intentionally, intentionally put themselves in that state. Well, I've now that's people. the third category. That's the third category I was going to go to is the one right. that want to be homeless, right? right. And those are the issues. For me, and, really. you know, the ones, the ones that, uh, the ones I've talked to that, uh, were caught off guard, something happened in their life. They lost their livelihood and struggled. And that's, you know, kind of where they ended up, uh, for the most part, it seems like there's fewer of those, uh, the mentally, uh, the, the drug, the drug addicts, a lot, um, and that's that's where I come in is, is I want to uh, I try to reach out and try to get these uh, people to understand yeah. that they can they can overcome this this addiction and, and get themselves uh, at least get their get their mental state back. Well, in. So my question for you: How much of the drug addicts and stuff like that that are that are hooked on on whatever, right? How much is that? How much of that addiction stems from a underlying mental issue that wasn't treated? And they treat it, they self medicate. I say a lot. Um, in my opinion, a lot. Um, because when we when we quit, when we when the state mental hospitals around this country all shut down, there's still a few. I mean, yeah. But yeah, I, I say a lot, and we don't. We don't do enough to address that as a society, um, and I think uh, I would hope that it would change since mm -hmm. since our society seems to be a um, not as proactive as we should be. We're more reactive. You know, situations have to get to their uh, to their peak. It seems like before. Right. We act. We act on stuff. I would like to think that the that the government would do more for mental health. I, 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 yeah, but, I agree with that. But I think I think the, the addicts that the the first and foremost is getting them to. Uh, 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 yeah, there's no reason to get into it. I'll go on all night. Um, the, I I think the the addicts to answer your question I think a, a larger percentage of the addicts yes if you're asking if, if they have uh, if there's some instability uh, mentally I I say a lot uh, a lot more than just addicts you know uh, there's functioning addicts all over the place I was one um, it's called um, uh, Wall Street. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah, right. Functioning psychotics and addicts. Yeah. So you know, I I think that I think from the standpoint uh, when you get into the homeless situation, it just uh, it it just seems like to me that a lot of it uh, is like I said, there's there's mental issues there, and it's really funny because once once you get once you get through that barrier with someone and they trust you, they change. They're, yeah. They, they, they're a different person than what you've experienced. Um, Cause they're not alone anymore. Point. They're not alone anymore. Yeah. And it, and it's, it's really enlightening, you know, uh, and I've got to find it. Um, his channel went away, but uh, somebody told me that he's back to posting again on YouTube. Uh, we had the gentleman that I met at the homeless shelter. He, uh, let's see, he called himself, uh, freight train. Uh, it's been a couple of years. Um, but he, he would hop, he would hop the freight train and he would do the circuit. He'd go down through yeah. Texas, go into Mexico, go to Arizona, back up to Colorado. 
and he'd make the circle and he had uh he knew he where didn't... to hide he knew where to hide and he would he would uh he would record it all and he posted it on his youtube channel oh wow uh didn't drink no drugs um just was homeless was happy to be homeless and he the straight to, hobo life yeah, yeah it, it's right like the old hobo he uh and he would rate he would rate the shelters and the cities that did a, the better jobs and he always loved denver the best for the food he said he <laughs> said he, he said he'd always make it to denver around around the holidays even though it was cold because they did they they served the best meals you know, yeah which was kind of an insult because i always thought we had some of the best food <laughs> anyway all right people yeah we're 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 slowly diminishing here getting down to nothing and i'm super blitzed i'm really really tired uh yeah yeah monday was a real long day for me and then with that storm hitting last night let's see what richard's saying here i was an addict i quit on my own never missed a day of work yeah, and 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 likewise, Richard. I was too. I was a function. I was I was an opioid addict. I'm a supporter of Suboxone. Uh, those that know me know that I go out of my way to support the program. Um, I, I know that I I know that I'll never have a big enough voice, but I support um, all those that support the Suboxone program, I get really pissed off. This is one thing I used to get me so pissed off at Kaiser. He used to make a fun of it. He'd make fun of Suboxone. Yeah. And ignorance, you know, oh, about yeah. this. It, well, it blows my mind how ignorant people are about the actual drug. Now, actual Suboxone that has Noxalone in it, that's Suboxone. And as long as the Noxalone is in there, I support it um, because you can't, it's not something you can take extra of and get a euphoric uh, high. Um, it just doesn't do that. Um, that's not how it works. Methadone, uh, most of us know that you can. And methadone is really highly addictive too. Where Suboxone, I found it easy to, to wean off of. Yeah. Um, I never have done methadone, but that's how I kind of lost my brother uh, because he was a methadone addict for years. Richard said I was on Subutex. Yeah, Subutex. Yeah, it, and that's that. That's a that's half of what Suboxone is. Um, it's a, a different kind of. Uh, pain reliever but that's that's half of suboxone if you put noxalone with the subutec then then that then you have suboxone basically is what it boils down to okay the the noxalone is uh is, is the counter and uh so uh ap says ram i've heard you talk about this before it absolutely can be abused yeah i i i don't get it you know not on the suboxone Maybe it can. I don't know. Never, never, never did anything for me. So, and I was, and I was, and I was actually on fentanyl patches um, for quite a while uh, before I started the program in 2010. I don't know if I ever shared the story about my my mom. She was on uh, fentanyl patch because she has, she had a, a spinal issue. It causes like the bottom of her spine to like, curve up and she actually lost like five inches in height, right? And the doctor she had at the time was just nothing but fentanyl patches. Like he never did any, you know, x-rays or anything or anything to kind of like help mitigate or to get her off of the uh the fentanyl patches. She was on them for seven years. And like she was a zombie. Like she would, you know, sleep in late, wake up, do something, and go back to sleep, like, you know, go to bed early. And she finally had enough of her and my dad talking. My dad's like, I can't, I can't watch you do this. And so she finally got off of them on her own and started going to like a chiropractor and things like that for the pain and using ibuprofen. And she was able to do that. But this, 
epidemic we have with these doctors are just like throwing these medications at you. Well, that I mean, slowed down though. I mean, that that now that the the DEA got involved, it, it, that's not the it, through the nineties and the aughts. Yes, I I've talked about it before. One right. of the doctors I went to was actually invested in one of the uh, yep. pill mills down in Florida, that. and uh, yep. yeah. It, it, that's that's not happening like it used to but well, good I'm glad for anybody to get off anybody to get off of um, get off of that on their own uh, wow that's crazy but uh, it, it, we had, it, it, it's a family thing right so we had to she had the so, family so wait a minute AP control. says the box yes so wait a minute says your brother abuses So now are we he talking? Was on, about, he was on methadone. It wasn't Suboxone for your brother. Well, Suboxone. Oh, he, his brother uses it. Okay, sorry. I'm not, no, I'm yeah, no, it. yeah. If he's talking about the, their brother, uh, yeah, I never had it in a pill form. It was always uh, the sublingual, you know, where you, they put it under your tongue. So I don't. Yeah. I know they have some generics and stuff that's in a pill, and maybe it can be. I don't know. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Hell, I was shocked when I saw that video where they were smoking the shit that comes out of, you know, Mexico. Yeah. The fentanyl that's coming out of Mexico that they actually smoke. Oh. Yeah, I, I did. Like, I, that's, I, that's what I did a lot of time when I was in the military with counter narcotics. And you, yeah, it's crazy. AP says sublingual strips. Yeah, and that's what I had were the strips, but I don't know how you would extract it out of those strips. Um, now, I do know that in the early days when I was on um, fentanyl, the, the early patches, they changed the patches at one point because they were actually being abused. Um, right. It was a 72-hour patch, and you actually, you could actually tell when your patch was was run out and then the new patches or they couldn't extract it out of there now it's not something i would have done that i understood it was a problem that they were actually extracting the uh putting a lot of them but the stuff that comes the bootleg stuff that's uh that comes through the uh through the networks of cartels and stuff there's no telling there's just yeah. no telling there's no telling how strong it is there's just no telling i did i saw an article uh the other day that uh more and more i they, there must be just literally thousands of uh mules that they're you know they're just packing the pills into backpacks well, and, so uh, i'll tell you the the thing the thing a lot, a lot of what i saw when i was working this is that the the pill presses are actually here in the states so they get like a, from what I saw a lot the of the powder. Through, the powder comes in, but it actually came in from China, going through Mexico, and then the cartels push the powder in multiple various ways. Well, I under I understand it still comes stuff. from China. It, no, it does. That's what I'm saying. It comes from China, and the majority of it comes from China, and then it just gets pushed through in powder form, and then they have pill presses here in the states. So oh, the pill press, it doesn't even stuff. necessarily come across. It does come across in pill form. I'm not saying there aren't pill presses, but there's a lot of pill presses. Yeah, Angel's talking here. about prints, and I'm familiar with that. And print and Angel, that's what uh, that was the old. That was the old fentanyl patches. They could do that. You could actually extract it out of there. Then they changed the patch to where that you couldn't extract it out of there. Um, yeah. Um, they did that with. Uh, oxycontin too because oxycontin yep. was being abused and then they made it where it wouldn't break down they put some type of a coating on it where it wouldn't uh would, wouldn't break down and of course they say they buffer that stuff so it won't either but you know i i kind of made a joke about it a week or two ago run into somebody and their you know their nose is all blue so, <laughs> so yeah, it's all blue there. because because all the buffered stuff sticking to the Oh, right. it's, just, it's like, come on, a, man. A ResDog has a question for you. It says, is methadone the same as Suboxone? No. No, because the uh, the Suboxone works as a, uh, more like a, uh, more like a block. Uh, 
and my brain's not working real good right at the moment because I'm so beat down that um, the uh, receptor works on the receptors in the brain. It blocks the the pleasure receptors or the, yeah. like the narcotic response, right? Yeah, so it doesn't. Where 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 uh, methadone, to my knowledge, is is more narcotic. Uh, well, uh, my brother. Say... Well, good. Sir. No, that's all right. I was just gonna say when my brother started on methadone in 1976. So I mean, yeah, I'm sure things have changed a lot. And you know, he, right it had to now. be like the early. Is that the early days of methadone being used that's to treat right. addiction? I'm sorry, I was reading something. What'd you say? I said it was a uh, was it was at the time like was it like early on in the use of methadone to treat addiction? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. He uh, what had happened was he had he had taken off. We we grew up in the Midwest, and he had taken off for California, and he ended up in um, in National City, Coronado area, yep, and, oh, that's a, yep. and he. Um, he got hooked up with uh, uh, some military guys, some Navy guys that were yep. flunking, that were flunking out of the Navy. Um, and I know at the time he had told me that uh, I guess the Navy was notorious for sending their losers there to, he said they were just great pain all day. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 100%. Yeah. Yep. Wire brush, wire brush, and, and, and a putty knife. And uh, and then they just did drug, you know, they, they they had problems instead of being discharged or whatever they were. You know, I guess some of them probably did get discharged. But anyway, he got he got hooked up in that mess. And and what happened? I left the Midwest when I was uh, a sophomore, went to Florida. And so we're on opposite ends of the country. And, uh, you know, he, he called uh, he called one day. I was uh, you know, just around 18, 18 years old, 18, something like that, said, I'm coming to visit. And I said, what's going on? You know, I mean, just out of the blue. He said, oh, just here's my flight number, da, 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 da. And the minute he walked off the plane, I knew something was wrong. I mean, mm. it just, he looked like death warmed over. Oh, and he was all strung out. And uh, so at this point, it was instantaneous. I mean, the right, I lived real close to the airport, I mean, real close in Tampa. And, uh, I mean, we weren't in the car five or 10 minutes and he was already starting to go, you know, he's already starting to have withdrawal problems. Oh, wow. And, he, and he's trying to tell me, he's warning me <laughs> it's going down. And I went through it with him. I mean, I fought with him and struggled with him. And it was, it was devastating for me though, because I was just a teenager, you know, this is my older brother and, uh, yeah. Uh, so I made some, we made some inquiries and we found a, uh, a doctor to take him to. And I remember the doctor's name was Dr. Valdez and, uh, he started him on methadone right away. And of course that, that helped with all that, but he went on to bear. Thank you. A res dog made a comment, says something about the use of, uh, ayahuasca apparently does the same without any without issue i don't know have you ever heard of them using i know what it is but i know what it is but i yeah i don't know i do know what it is um i live in a part of the world where they they don't it's not as predominant as it used to be because they keep it kind of under wraps the peyote's real big here yeah and uh uh, the powwows and stuff they used to have it. And I understand that, that that's another way to try to get yourself oh, off the other thing, but I don't I used know. To, I had a lieutenant, I had a lieutenant who was native and she actually got permission from the military. Uh, I think it was like once a year or whatever to go powwow. back to her tribal home, homeland. Yeah. To the yep. powwow. Yep. to use a uh, peyote and yep. she wasn't, it's uh, a religion. It's a religious thing. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I don't know the validity of that. If, if it's something, but you know, God, I think the drug problem in this country is not as bad as it was ten years ago, but it's still not good. It's still not so. Good. One thing I wanted to address right fast, if it's all right with you, Ram, was had Absolutely. to do with the homeless aspect. 
So the thing is, so I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, you know, sugarfoot this, I, or sugarcoat this. I am a religious guy, right? Like I am a, a religious guy. One of the things I think can help with the homeless aspect, I know a lot of people are, are, you know, get down on like the churches doing this stuff, but there's a lot of community in those churches that want to help people. And that's, you know, part of our creed and all this who, kind of stuff. Who, who, who gets down on the church? Well, no, because I no, there were people that were talking about like, they don't want to go to certain shelters because they're religious. Oh, no, 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 no. So, and some don't. Some No, some of the homeless don't go to the shelters because they don't. They don't want right. to have to deal with it. But I wasn't right. saying, that's not coming. No, no, not you, not you. I'm just saying, like, I know people in general, like, get down with this. But the thing right. is, is that the federal government can't do it. And maybe they can do something with, like, the mental health aspect. But I'm telling you, it's a community thing. And one of those big aspects for the community is the local churches. Now, you got to be careful because there are, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm a religious guy, but I know that there are dangerous churches out there. Well, there's good but, and bad and everything, buddy. Right, right. Um, and we saw that with what happened in when Houston and all this kind of stuff. I mean, do you remember that story? I don't know if you remember that story about when the, the hurricane hit Houston and all this kind of stuff, and then uh, Joel Osteen wouldn't open his church for people that needed help, right? Places you talking about the TV guy, Joel Osteen? Yeah, the, the TV minister. The evangelical yeah. preacher yeah. who's yeah. full of shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, he wouldn't open his church to let people stay there that needed a place because their homes have been destroyed because he just got the carpets fixed. Those are not the guys I'm talking about. I'm talking about the guys, like the churches and stuff. If we... If we let the if the government would stop taxing people money to not do anything with the homeless and let them use their funds in a community manner in places like a church or a non nonprofit or whatever to help these guys, it would be a lot better. But the problem is the government, in my opinion, comes in and says, We're gonna raise your taxes because we have to deal with the homeless situation. And then they I'm don't a, do hey, the I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you for a second, only because okay, it's right. going I gotta I gotta figure out what's going on in the chat here. So the We're chat problems say, with the memberships. right? Well, yeah, but, but that may be something I can resolve from this end. Um, okay, yeah, because so think. well, only because my channel, my channel got deleted back in late December. It took me two to three weeks to get it straightened out with Google and YouTube, and I had to re-upload everything. And I and I told Linda this the other day. She was having some issues in the chat on some stuff, and I didn't realize it, but it wiped out everything i had set up in memberships so i went in there just recently to try to figure out what was going on so i let me see if i can figure out what this is uh yes, you know, it's not Melton, showing, yes. It says yeah. it's not showing the links for memberships for some of us right and they're wanting and, to like gift memberships and they can't do it either and... right i don't know anything about gift i just don't know anything about that no is that something i need to turn on on my end i I don't, uh, you might have to, you might have to look into your, uh, dashboard I just don't know out. anything about it. Uh, it's normally, that... so normally it'll pop up. Like when you go to like, do like a super chat or a super sticker, there'll be an option for gifting memberships. Right? Okay. Now is there, and... I can't tell because I'm on a stream yard. So I, there's no way for me to know. It, it, you had to do it like probably after the stream, go into your dashboard, uh, when this is all over and take a look and see if there's something you had to activate. So let me, this browser over here. Maybe there's yes, something. yes, Matt. That's the guy I'm talking about. The one who looks like Tim Allen impersonating Martin Short. Yes. <laughs> that is Joel Osteen to a fucking T. That's uh that's a great description of him. Yeah, he's on TV here. I just can't he's a up. joke. Like I'm not like as a Christian, I'm telling you, he is a joke. Uh okay, so it normally lets me with the dollar sign, just not now. All good, I'll figure it out. Okay, well, yeah, but I want to make sure it's something on that I need to address. Let me I'm on another browser here, so let me okay. click on this browser. Okay, so I just opened up another browser, and when I click on the dollar sign, it says membership gifting by memberships for viewers. So and what, apparently you have as a channel owner, you get so many like free memberships to gift. Yeah, well, I, I'm not even on that. I'm I'm on a completely separate account, oh, okay. separate okay. browser. I'm I'm looking at it. There's as no a, way that viewer, there's yeah. no way that they know that I'm connected. Yeah, this is a whole different thing. I want to see what happens. So it says, okay, I can buy 50, 20, 10, 5, or 1 membership. Okay. Now, here's the other thing that ticked me off with YouTube. When I set up memberships, I set them up for $0.99, cents, $1.99, and 
And after my channel got deleted, they set the lowest at $4.99 and I tried to change it. And when I messaged YouTube about it, they said that that uh, membership AdSense had, or yeah, AdSense, I guess, has control of that. And because you're a partner with them and they don't have to allow you to have memberships, it's not it's not a given. They can actually deny you as a channel. That's Remember, crazy. Oh, yeah. That well, doesn't make any sense. Well, I know a ton of channels that have Well, like that, it's yeah. because of AdSense. See, AdSense changes everything. As soon as you monetize, now you're now a partner. They call it the partners program. So yeah. you're now a partner, but you're a minority partner, my friend. <laughs> they call the Yeah, shots. no, yeah, no, 100%. Uh, yes. So it's working. It's working for me on this. That's all I can say. Um, uh, now let me see what happens if I do on that. Okay, yeah, yeah, it opens it up. So I guess everything's good on, on my... It could be. I mean, the problem is I've had, I've, I've seen, because I've been on YouTube for a minute, right? I've seen issues with uh, Android phones. I've seen issues with uh, oh yeah, no, I know. Uh, regular phone or other phones. I've seen issues like it, it's just weird. Sometimes YouTube is just the problem. Uh, yeah, it's issues. Period. I mean, there's times there's times I don't get notifications on stuff. I've been getting notifications on forever, and I just don't get it. I don't know. Yeah, YouTube's kind of it, it is kind of a screwy thing. But anyway, it did allow me. It did allow me to open that up off another browser. Let me see what happens if I do it on my account. Okay. Okay. So as a uh, Frogger Ram uh, membership gifting, it also allows super sticker, super chat, or membership gifting. So it opened it up. And then I was told also, since I have this on, I can uh, go ahead to channel 10 like that. Okay, I've never messed with it much because I'm always on StreamYard. Okay, so I can pin it from there, but I can't do that on stream. Well, this is good to know. I just I just discovered something I didn't know. I was often wondered how I could pin comments from StreamYard. Well, I can't. Yeah. I just have to have another browser open. Correct. Yeah, you have to pin it on your channel. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got it. Well, that's nice to know. I learned something new, Linda. <laughs> And also, if I understand, like the one of the newer aspects, I know Project Troll's been talking about this, is that you can actually gift. I think they give you it's like five or ten a month free oh, that, membership that say, to give out. Doesn't say anything about that. Why not? Because I know that I've seen several. Okay, well, so well yeah, you let's, maybe you know, Project Troll is also ten times the channel. This is too. There's probably some kind of. It's probably a reward system, like they do everything else. I, I've seen it on, on smaller channels too. Like Have you? The, yeah, yeah, they they certainly they certainly reward you as you go along. You get uh, you certainly get certain little quirks that uh, you don't get when you're smaller. Little that's for sure. There. Yeah. So uh, what's that say? Linda's telling me on Queen Beauty's channel they have to post a link for iPhone users to use. That's how I know about the issues with iPhone. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I look. I you're talking to a guy that carried a military flip phone until they quit making them, and I wish they'd make them again. I just, I, just... <laughs> I didn't get my first. I didn't get. I didn't get my first cell phone, and I was born in '82, right? So I'm a younger guy when it comes to certain aspects of certain people. But I didn't get my first cell phone until 2004. And I'd already been in the military for like two years by that time. Brian Jones says, I'm not chili lawyer, but I play one on TV. Right. Elab elaborate on that. <laughs> go back and go to the channel that doesn't offer me purchase. Angel, I'm sorry. Um, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do uh, since you're trying so hard. Um, let me see if I can do this. What were you wanting to gift a few memberships? Because if you want to, I'll I can do it and I'll do it in your name. I was like, I wonder if it'll let me do that. Oh no, I see what it does there. Oh no. Don't be mean to me. You have to play publicly announced. Uh AP's going to bed. Good night, AP. All right, AP. Thank you. Appreciate all your input. 
and coming and enjoying the show with it. Yeah, it's getting late. I need to wind it down. This is crazy. I do need to get in there and look at this, and I'll do it when I'm coherent tomorrow. <laughs> I just yeah, really no, I've been up since uh, six this morning. I got my, yeah. I was uh, babysitting my niece and nephew, and I got up at six to make sure they were ready to go to school and stuff. So yeah, I never even went to bed. I mean, after the storms, you know, of course, I don't actually go to bed. I kind of uh, since I have sleep apnea, I kind of sleep propped up. Sandy's sleep apnea as well. Yeah. A maniac, two dollars. These from released to fans. Perry, we did. We played the. We Was that played, the last one we played? No, his like yeah. phone call parody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We played all. We, we actually played three of them tonight. So. I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate it, Angel, and and I appreciate you. I mean, the whole the and and Dick Bag hit the nail on the head earlier. It really is the whole reason we do this. And, and I've been telling him all along, I look forward to the live streams. I, look, I don't, I, I actually don't like being too organized about it. I mean, it's good to have something to go over, but I enjoy it once it's all done and, and you get into this mode right here. I the just appreciate, mode. yeah, I just appreciate I just yeah. appreciate trying, you know, I, I like to do for the chat. I mean, if somebody, if somebody was to say, oh, come on, Ram, don't, don't, don't sign off now. Let's go do this. I would probably do it, but, but not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm uh, telling you, like when you get that video done on that dude, like that was some crazy stuff. Yeah. Uh, your, your, yeah. Your Linda, stuff. Linda's seen that video. She's, she's the one that sent it to me at first. Um, I think it was. I think it wasn't that blue botchers or whatever or whatever. Blue they, body cam. Blue body cam is the one that did it. Yeah. Oh, is it blue body cam? Okay, because they don't strike me. The other one. Uh, did a, so I talked. I've I've actually reached out to blue body cam because I have a channel too, but I I haven't I I because I'm I'm looking to join the police force. I private did everything and kind of shut my stuff down. Right, yeah, you should. <laughs> and but I reached out to them and said, hey, if I show your video. And I, you know, credit you with it and all this kind of stuff. You guys care because they're like a, you know, they have like two point something million subs, and they're like, no, they responded back real quick. They're like, yeah, as long as you give us credit for it, we don't. Care. Right, and they usually say so <laughs> in the description. And I, yeah. uh, this one's called the channel. Uh, now I forget what it's called. They and what what they did was they sent me a copyright strike. So I went and looked at the video, and it was the first time I'd ever done one off of their channel. And I emailed them back, and I said, look. It only got 137 views, so I'm just going to delete it because it wasn't that good of a video anyway. But let me give you a forewarning. You can't copyright me if you didn't copyright me. And, yeah. uh, and I can counter, and, 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 and false copyright strikes are just as bad as, if not worse, than copyright. Yes. So uh, yes. thank you, Angel. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll figure out. I'll figure out this thing, and I'll put. I'll. Uh, I'll apply that to uh, memberships the next live stream and put it in your name. How's that? We'll do it that way. That sounds amazing. We'll do it that way. So, um, yeah. They, um, so I I sent him an email and I deleted I deleted off there and then uh, Linda dropped me a link to this video. And I told her, I said, oh, they're the ones that like to copyright me. But then I saw the video. I was like, I don't care. I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know if it was that one, but I've got two or three. I usually have a half a dozen videos people send me, you know. But what I try to do is I try to find the source. Um, if I can find the original video, I would rather do it that way because then I'm not cutting, cutting out all of their narrative in there. Right. Um because then it gets just too chopped up. So I try I try to find the original source. But the one what what the hell was the name of that was uh, Blue Botch or Blue They weren't I think you know name. what you're talking about. I can't remember right now. Yeah. Blue blotter. Blue blotter. Blue blotter. Yeah. And they said they said that they um you know, uh, when they returned the email to me, they said, well, we go to, we go to a lot of trouble to for you these videos. And, and I was kind of like, well, too bad. I mean, you put it out there, you may for you, you may get the, you know, the videos, uh, but that doesn't mean that you can copy, you can just claim copyright to it. 
Right. So anyway, I've got a pretty good copyright letter that uh, that I have prepared. Blue blotter. Yeah, that's right, Linda. Blue blotter. Um, I've got a pretty good copyright letter or counter letter that uh, Angel created. Angel says, uh, "Oh, you don't have to. Uh, we all know you appreciate the support. I will be here no matter what." Okay. Well, anyway, we'll see what happens. I appreciate you. So we'll see what happens. What's going on, Bandit? <laughs> Bandit says I have to watch replay of work that was way too overrated. Yeah, right. Work is uh, overrated. I'm ready to get back. Honestly, to tell you the truth, like I've taken like since I retired from the military, I've taken like time off from actually working. And it's been nice. I've been able to help my family do all this kind of stuff, but I'm kind of ready to get back to work. So, yeah, and and Liz, you know what? And that's that's another thing too is if everybody went to everybody's channel, they get like the one to Jilly's channel. I run over there, and I download it, and then I turn around and do a video, and I'd much rather you guys watch my version of to give him credit for the clicks and views. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, kind of look at it that way. Uh, I do it sometimes when I see, uh, like, for public safety go live. I want to see it because, like, the thing is about him going live and doing stuff is that he likes to get arrested. And I'm kind of like, oh, man, is he going is he gonna get arrested again? Is he going to say some stupid shit and get arrested? And so I'll watch that. But I've kind of okay. slowed down on the product. I mean, Chili's got, he's quick. I, you know, I had to get involved in this. But I kind of got to where I was doing those other videos and then joined them. The, reason, the thing I liked about the arrest videos, the DUI ones and stuff like that, shoplifting and so on and so forth, is they're all the same, but they're all different, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Um, <laughs> That's why I love like the, the DUIs and stuff. The DUIs are some of the best, especially the females. They are the craziest. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, yeah, it's so crazy. And they, they start like, I remember one, I can't remember, it was years ago, there was one where they pulled over, uh, she was like in the middle of the street or whatever, and she was like some kind of city councilwoman or something, they pulled her over and she was trying to use her phone and just arguing with the cops the whole time, and it was, it was hilarious. It, it's amazing, like I said, they're all the same, but they're different. Uh, they all go through the same uh, kind of emotions. Uh, I, I, there's a category on my channel and it's called headbangers. Uh, right. And I try to separate those videos out. I'm, I'm, now that I'm getting my channel reorganized from being deleted, you spend a, spend a year getting it all set up the way you want it. You would think it would go back together the way it fell apart. But that, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Right. Right. Oh, the guy. Oh yeah. But the guy from YouTube, uh, you don't talk to anybody. You have to do everything in chat. Um, of course. Told me, he said, well, you need to back your channel up every now and then. Uh, well, Why? Because you guys are going to magically just delete it one day? That sounds <laughs> yeah. horrible. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I uh, just Why don't you just leave it alone? And it, it really was kind of a mistake on everybody's part. And it all came down to me. Uh, what I did was it was on the 26th of uh, December. I, outside of my daughter, I, there's, you know, the, she didn't come to town until February this year. So I was like, you know what? And I think Linda will probably remember this. Uh, I never took a penny out of YouTube. And they finally in December said, look, you've got to take this. We're sending it to you. I said, okay, send it to me. It was $938 from May through December is what i generated most of that was generated off of memberships and you know the chats and all that very little on adsense right. so i took that and went and bought which i needed to do because my old gaming computer was just it's it was just running ragged yeah i went and bought a nice system and uh, that's what i'm working off of right now and put every nice. penny of it back into it so that i could continue to do this and hopefully do a better job of it um. <laughs> uh angel thank you very much um i mean I, I loved my service i did my time and and uh like i said I, I i will not work for the federal government again but um i will never ever uh 
I will never like bad talk the Navy or any of that kind of stuff. It was a, uh, they, it did a lot for me. So thank you. You bet you. Thanks for your service. I mean, it is what it is. Anybody, anybody that goes and signs up, I mean, they deserve to be thanked for it. I mean, that's, yeah. Unlike, unlike people like uh Wrangler who is a yeah. you know, who lies about his shit all the time. Like I, I know, like I, I was on KFARS, the other night and someone that and he asked me about him and I, I went off on it and uh because yeah we do sign up and it, it, there's nothing against people who don't right my sister didn't sign up she's just a radiology tech who does an amazing job right and my brother-in-law had signed up went through he actually made it farther than wrangler did before he broke his back right and got medically discharged like actually medically discharged from the army right and um he's a he's a, a a nurse now he's a like they, they do things so if you don't make it for the military if you don't want it like you can do other things ram you've done so much amazing stuff with your life you've been productive in your life you know um for someone who who would like just like pretend to be this thing in order to get people to sub to him it just drives me insane I, I, the thing the thing about Tyson. For me personally, so many things changed for, for me because of him coming to YouTube. Um, that's when I left Predator Trolls channel. I, I supported Josh. I, I, I was a good supporter of Josh. I uh, would always offer help in the background information, whatever, so on and so forth. And, and the, by the second live stream, I knew this guy was full of shit. Yeah. Um, and then when he came over to Mark's channel, uh, shortly thereafter, Mark and I, we, we were live and we were, and uh, Yvonne was there that night, I think, and Salacious and a few others. But uh, we went, uh, oh, I know who, uh, Rage was there that night too. And uh, so we were going to go, Mark wanted to go do what he called uh, uh, trolling. He wanted to go bash the night nighttime frauditors and uh, who were on their channel. I think it went by, uh, I don't know, went to a couple places. But anyway, Wrangler wanted to go along. It wasn't even Wrangler then. It was Michael Kaiser. And we had just learned that his name was Michael Kaiser because the first time he spelled it on Prodder Trolls channel, it was K-A-I-S-E-R. And yeah. it caught my attention. Like the Kaiser roll. Yeah. Right. Well, the reason it caught my attention is I'd taken the Dallas Morning News for years and years and years because of, <laughs> yep. because of the sports page. And there's an actual Captain Michael Kaiser who lives in the Dallas Fort Worth area that I happened to read an article about in the Dallas Morning News. And he, uh, I believe he's real big with it's either Wounded Warriors, it's one of the bigger foundations. Yeah, and he was I, like I, a green beret or special. Yeah, no, the guy was right? yeah, the guy was top notch dude, right? I mean, big time military stuff. And I'd read this article on, and I asked him point blank. I said, "So you're not Michael Kaiser, the captain, the, the Dallas Fort?" Because he said he lived. He, all he said was Texas. Right. Then, uh, he, no, no, and then the cha he changed the spelling immediately of his last name to k-i-s-e-r and then somebody was talking about okay when he said that he went to the university of texas yep well i had done i don't know if you know who um let me get my brain working here um david miranda is good guy audits out of new york yeah of course yeah okay yeah, so david, david miranda yeah. david miranda was on Frontier trolls channel one night like a debate thing and he started throwing these pictures up of him in a football uniform and he claimed that he played for texas university of texas and claimed that he went to the university of texas so i thought you know what i'm gonna look into this so i went back through all the i knew about how old he was uh went through all the football rosters and looked for him couldn't find him well my research led me to him playing semi-pro football in Rhode Island or New Hampshire or something like that, a semi-pro league. And he did play football 
and he was a defensive uh, like safety or uh, linebacker type deal. Right. But he never went to the University of Texas. Well, when Kaiser told me that about Texas, I thought, you know, I still got all that. So I'm going <laughs> because I learned I learned how to look things up, and uh, right. uh, I went and looked, and I could never find anything in Texas. But he also screwed up by saying he, he made the comment "roll tight." One night during a live stream, Alabama. yeah, Alabama, yeah, that's Alabama. So now I know this guy's bullshit, and he didn't have a Texas accent as much as he tried. It was more of a Georgia. His accent's more of a right. South. Yeah, exactly. Like, South yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, the Texas is entirely different. Uh, it is. It really is. And we speak with our, with our mouths more closed. Like, there's an entire like video um, on like accents from different southern states and. The one thing they talk about is that someone who's from Texas speaks with a closed mouth, right? Well, it's it's definitely not the same as the, the, the South. Alabama is not because you have Alabama and then you have yeah. South Carolina, South right? Carolina, where, where they, they draw open. It's it draw it out, right? And, and they draw it out, and it, in Texas is just very much like. I've gotten my, my Texas accent has come back more since I've been back, but it changes because I, the, the difference between me and other Texans is that I speak other languages, right? So, but when I do speak, if I get around like, you know, fellow Texans, all this kind of stuff. Good night, Sue Bear. Thank you. Good night, Sue Bear. Didn't mean to yell. <laughs> no, you're good. Like, like, like she's going out the front door. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Come back Just when you can't stay so long. <laughs> but no, no he never look, had he's look, never look, had a Texas accent. <laughs> he's never had a Texas accent ever. So Yeah, Linda's Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, that's Minnesota. all Minnesota. But what like when I moved when I first moved to the Ozarks and after I lived there for a while, like you kind of pick up, you know, you kind of have a tendency to pick up a little bit. But, you, you do. Know, they, it's called they, immersion. They talk, they, they, they talk more like uh, more like yens and then they they carry on right. uh, it, it's more of a cut quick kind of thing where in the south south you know they draw things out a little bit more in Everything. certain places like i had my uh my ex i would say like i call her my ex grandmother in law i guess right um she had uh you know that like the the little uh like coffee powder stuff like the the cap she called it cappuccino, right? Yeah, it was cappuccino. She, East Texas, right? Straight up East Texas, right on the border with Louisiana. And she's like, hey, you want some cappuccino? Any coffee? Right? And, but it's all very closed mouth, right? And the way he talks is not, it's very Alabama. Like, I've been through Alabama and Mississippi and all this kind of stuff. And I lived in Georgia and South Carolina. And South yeah, Carolina. See, he reminds me more of the South Carolina, North Carolina kind of more accent than even Alabama. Again? Kaiser. Yeah, his oh, yeah. more of like a North Carolina. Well, apparently he's hanging out in your state now. So Oh, he is. There's no doubt about it. I knew that long before everybody, and, you know, I, I won't get into it because I was told not that, you know, I didn't want to interfere with what might be going on behind the scenes. But Correct. Correct. Yeah, I, I, uh, right. yeah, I've known that for quite a while. Um, quite a long time, to be honest with you. I even know the little story behind his mom and the house and everything, how it was all acquired. That's oh, my, my, one of my dads worked with a guy, cause, you know, uh, um, what was it? Uh, uh, what's the name of the, the Dane cartoon? Um, with Hank Hill. Uh, what was it called? Something guy or whatever. Uh, no, oh, I, no, it um, I, can't I don't. Him. I don't watch. But he had. A, he had a friend. He had a friend named Boomhauer who just thought like doing on 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 dating old man on with a six pack and this and third. My dad worked with a guy when he worked construction at the ho a hospital. It spoke exactly like Boomhauer. King of the Hill. Yep. Good night, King Liz. Hill. And King of the Hill is based on living in a town in Texas, right? And because the guy that the guy that wrote it is from Texas and Boomhauer, like there's literally like I've literally met a guy who speaks like Boomhauer. And he was just like, dang don't man, my old wife all around me, all kinds of stuff and a six pack of beer. And it was just so funny. But no, he is he has no Texas touching whatsoever. 
I tell you, the probably the hardest person that I tried ever have tried to understand in my life was an old Irishman. <laughs> they don't open their mouth. No, you can't read their lips. And when they get old, like you know, the top, and you, it's like, God damn, I can't, what the hell he say? And when they get excited, man, you really get lost. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have family in Alabama, Tennessee, and Texas. Friends from Arkansas and Georgia, and all around the South. You can tell you can the tell difference. Them. You can. Really can. And the Arkansas uh, is what I'm more familiar with. Uh, Missouri, Southern Missouri, Arkansas, the the Ozark. Missouri, Missouri. <laughs> well, it just depends. Depends on what you're what what you're identifying it with, and it depends on what part of Missouri or Missouri you're 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 living in. Yep. So, um, but it's, 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 it's Missouri down South. Um, that's where I learned to say yins. Yeah. <laughs> first, <laughs> first time I heard that, what the hell they say yins. Well, they, 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 so they made fun of me. Like the entire time I was in the military, they make fun of me with the way I pronounce certain words. Right. Like, for example, instead of saying, um, oil, right. Like people say oil, right. It's oil. Oh yeah. Right. Yep. And, 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 and things like, um, instead of saying like, um, and I had to like force myself to say it this way, poem, po poem is poem, right? It, it, like, oh, I, I look, I, I understand. Cause I've lived in Oklahoma now for, um, going on 40 years. Yeah. Close to it. Uh, yeah. So I picked up a lot of the Oklahoma slang and yeah. The, and, and I live in the, where I live. I live in North Texas. So it's double like negatives all the time. Oh, Here, man. But here's the one, here's the one that I, I could never, I've never gotten used to this. Never have. And I still can't do it. I seen, I seen, I seen, I seen, I seen him. Yeah. I seen, no, I saw, I saw them. I didn't seen them. <laughs> I seen them. I seen them. I seen them do it the other night. And it is. It's seen them. It's seen them. You're right. It's what we're doing. It, you know? <laughs> and they make fun of because in, in Texas, a lot of times we have like the long I sound, right? So if I say things like ice cream or right or white, right? It is this long I sound and everyone makes fun of me for it. Huh. And I, I, like I, 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 I really say noticed. like boyfriend, like your boyfriend or, you know, and, and they just, they make, I, I've gotten just hilarious. You know, they, they laugh so hard. So they how do you speak that. up in Northern California, Joanne Donuts? Say again, sorry. No uh, hand Donuts says uh, I live in North Car Carolina. Oh, okay. or I mean, Northern California. I'm sorry. Like North Carolina. Only thing I think of when uh, Northern California comes up, I've been there a couple times. One time the trees were just massive, and the other time, because I wanted to see what the big deal was about the Emerald Triangle, whatever they called it. <laughs> I was up, uh, isn't Oakland Northern California? Yeah, getting up there. Yeah, that's getting there. That, I've been to Oakland. I've been to, I've been to Oakland. Uh, that's I, the Bay Area, so Sacramento's. Uh, I have family in Marin County, which is across the bridge from San Francisco. Oh, Angel! Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, uh, they, they said a lot here in the South East. What's that? Oh, um, for fuck! Uh, oh, for oh, fuck's sake! Oh, for right. sake. Yeah, I don't think I used that one. Not that I remember. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Yeah. A hell of love it. Yeah, that's a beautiful country. I uh, I, I love like California. I, I love to visit California because it's gorgeous, right? It really is. And I've been out to oh, California a couple times. And of course, I flew in, you know, on deployments and stuff in like San Diego and things like that. But I lived in Monterey uh, twice. And California is gorgeous. The problem with California is the damn government. They can't manage the most beautiful state, one of the most beautiful states out there at all and it's just like i love i mean angel you crack me up <laughs> uh, yeah my well my family part of my family so i mean um both my brothers were born in california and um my grandfather immigrated there in the late 1800s and uh, 
I have family kind of spread around parts of it. Uh, but I did ride my motorcycle through the state in 1998. It was, uh, I, I, I love, I love, uh, not all the way north, but well, not too far from, from say, um, Monterey area, but you get into yeah. uh, Yosemite. It's absolutely stunning oh, it's all gorgeous. the way up around Tahoe. Tahoe's just just oh it just blows I learned I learned to dive. I learned to dive in Monterey like the second time I went back. See now you to, sound like you're from Texas. Now that we've been talking about it, now you're starting to sound more like Texas. <laughs> well it it happens. Like in my <laughs> so the problem is like when you're like I speak three languages fluently, like relatively fluently or whatever. And if today I spent the day like practicing them other languages and it has an effect on my accent. Sure it does. Because I'm trying to sound like, you know, what they what, what I'm supposed to sound like. And, and Richard will tell you that my Farsi accent is, uh, to be, you know, is, is much to be desired. But that's a, there's one of my favorite things to say. No shit, Sherlock. Yep. They, they elected Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, you, you elected Reagan, too. Right. Yep. Well, Red, that was that. That's a different thing. That's a different thing because Reagan was different. He was. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, just don't go there. Trust me. No, <laughs> no don't go there. Yep. But, um, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, it, it's a gorgeous, it, it's a gorgeous country. It really is out there. Um, and I, I'm so sad that California is the way it is because I uh, love, I love being out there. Yeah, it's, it's helped. It sure has helped my uh, property value. Same thing in Texas. It's driven our property value up quite a bit with this influx. It, it does because they're all leaving. And the yeah, same thing no. with New York and, and Chicago and everywhere else, man. They're they're running. They're run, especially what happened with Trump recently and all this kind of stuff. But then wanting to take his property and this and third, they are they are running to Florida, Tennessee, Texas, Oklahoma. Yep. yep. Right. They are fleeing. My property value went up 30% in a couple of years. It never would have done that under regular circumstances. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. We have, I see, uh, I see more California tags in the last couple of years than I've ever seen. And one of the truest things I've ever seen, it was a sign that said, don't California, my Texas. Right. And I'm, I did, that's the thing, right? You like, you're fleeing this place because of who you elected. Don't come here and try to elect the same folk that you did back in California. It's going to be the same shit. So slowly starting to. I mean, I I remember Ann Richards. Uh, yeah. Oh, Ann Richards. Yep. Yep. I remember her too. Yep. Back in the Reagan days, but uh, Ann was a tough cookie. Yep. And, uh, Bandit. Thirteen ninety nine. The computer fund. <laughs> I'm good, man. It's all paid for, but I appreciate it. It's greatly appreciated. And YouTube will get their cut. And I'm sure they appreciate it. Wait a minute, Richard. What's wrong, buddy? Well, shit. You guess you're fucking wise out. Let's see. We'll catch up and find out what's going on here. He's he's probably making fun of me uh, uh, in my Persian accent. Got gotcha. you. Cause I have a more of an Afghan accent when I speak Persian than I do like an actual, like, you know, Iranian accent. And it's, uh, he, he enjoys, uh, pointing that out to me on, on multiple occasions. Yeah. So, uh, Logan says he can cuss out in German. My, uh, my mother used to, instead of saying shit, she'd say scheiss. <laughs> so, <laughs> scheiss. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of like, if she banged her, you know, Knee or something says, Oh, she'd say, Oh, shice. You know, there's actually a thing called Texas German. The yeah. Germans, like, like in Texas, like in New Brunswick and things like that, like outside San Antonio and all this kind of stuff, they, um, they actually created a kind of like their own German language. And there's a thing called Texas German. Huh. It's kind of like the Pennsylvania Dutch, right? Yeah. Right, but it's a it's a Texas German, and my brother in law, his uh, adopted mother is German from you know she's like, like legit German from Germany, and it's funny because 
I've talked to her about this and it's hilarious because they, they've literally made their own German language in Texas. I'm going to highlight that because I'm not the one who said that. Uh, no faith. Merv is like Trump's gum, just like chili. Interesting you bring Merv up because uh, Merv made the comment that, uh, well, I guess you saw it or you wouldn't be making that comment. So, that uh, chili. What hater. does that mean? Trump's gum? I don't understand what that means. What, uh, what are you talking about? Yes, they're calling Trump scum. Burb is Trump scum, just like chili. Uh, that's not what got my attention. What got my attention was Burb and chili, those two together, because Burb made the comment, I guess. And we talked about it earlier. I was thinking about going over to his channel uh, earlier and uh, to see what it was all about. Apparently, he said anybody... I don't know. Maybe he, maybe Trump has, maybe that has something to do with it. He made a comment that uh, the chili, the chili haters, maybe he called them Trump scum. Look, I know I shouldn't be going. What is it? Oh, God. It's a, oh, shit. Bo, we've been, I have a bad habit. Like when I get on people's live streams, I, I'm sending it out and that's well, my fault. I apologize. I, I've got, I've got to, uh, I've got to go look at this real quick now, though, because uh, it's right. got my curiosity up. Merp 34. Believe you, know, you know Trump's going to be the next president, right? Like, everyone knows this. Yeah, I don't... I don't, you're not, don't just, just don't even bring politics up. Yes, sir. Well, will not. It just... just not, it's, not, it's not a place for it. Um, no, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah, no, no worries. Yeah. I don't... Uh, it's your channel, whatever you want. Yeah, I just, I mean, it's okay to make comments here and there on it, but I surely don't want to get into any kind of political discussion whatsoever. Uh, here we go. What's he, let's see what he says here. Let's see. Videos. Merv made the call that Chile wasn't going to get an appeals bond. He was right. According well, to yeah, but, uh, anybody could have made that call. I mean, so did, so did, uh, so did Pat Darcy. If anybody hit the nail on the head, Darcy did because he called them near everything that happened the way it did. But but apparently Merck called out anybody that hates Chile. He called them some kind of a name. I'm not sure what. Oh, it was. okay, gotcha. Let me gotcha. see what. Let me see what. If there's nothing, there's no. He doesn't even have a community tab. Let's see if he did a short. Um, uh, nope. Like months ago, that wouldn't be it. Let's see. Nine hours ago. Chili haters are the worst. Let's see what this is all about. How long a video is this? Because he can get windy. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but let's hear what he has to say real quick. Okay. I'm not a big fan of this guy. I don't know him that well. I mean, I've heard him being talked about in a lot of different uh, channels that I'm, I, I jump on and talk to, but isn't he a lawyer or something? Seems to be. So I I couldn't validate that. Good afternoon. Happy Tuesday. Every time I put out a video, I am endlessly amazed at the Dunning Kruger Olympics that happen in my comment section. Each person attempting to compete with the last over who can say the most inane thoughtless, irrational thing. Normally, I, I chuckle to myself at how stupid people are willing to appear in public and move along. You know, put a little heart on it and move along. For example, just as, as an example of the, the dumb shit people say, commonly dumb shit that people say, is anyone with a room temperature north of the freezing point of water. Anybody anybody with a double digit IQ knows that Chile did not cry. You know, Chile was trying to act like he was crying. He was probably trying to squeeze out a tear, but he was not crying. The he crocodile. was incapable of even acting convincingly like he was crying. And yet my comment section was flooded with people who were Ha ha ha! Chili was crying. Ha ha ha! The alpha male cried. Ha ha ha! You know, it's improper 
jail etiquette to ever cry in front of other inmates. Ha ha ha. Are you, I, how fucking stupid are you that you think that Chili cried? And that you think that other people are going to laugh? I, mean, I guess other people are, but you know, I guess people should be used in loose quotes because really, if you're that dumb, are you even a person? You're just a clump of sale of cells at that point. Uh, this is stupid. Murph's such an idiot. I, is it, so what? I mean, this is YouTube, dude. This is the internet. Uh, yeah. You know, somebody else just made a comment that I guess my community tab's filled with a bunch of uh, chili stuff. And and I try to get around. I don't get around to all. I do. I do make an attempt to get around in the comments. But here lately, there's been so much going on. I mean, I had a couple of shorts that had eleven and 12,000 views and a couple hundred comments. I'm like, holy crap. You know, I just can't, can't get to it all when there's that much going on. But the one thing I have learned, and Linda's been around me uh, quite a while, so she can validate this. Uh, I've, I've gotten a lot thicker skin. I used to, I would respond and sometimes get drawn into some of those arguments and uh, conversations and stuff and, and uh, I just don't do it anymore I just right. you know it's me, good for your sanity well and, and to me to me if I'm gonna if I'm gonna post a video there's gonna be counters to it there's gonna be objections and there's gonna be people who like there's gonna be people that aren't gonna like it and so on and so forth but that's what makes the YouTube world work in my opinion and I think that's why yeah. YouTube I think they I think they actually adore this whole, and I, I never know whether to call it genre or community or whatever, but let's just say the fraud, anti-fraud, the fraud predators and the anti-predators. They love that kind of stuff, kind of like the flat earthers, the flat earthers. Oh, the God, yes. But the reason they love it is because it's an open debate that there's no end to. It, it's just, it, and they, they, for them, it's golden. Well, uh, you remember, like, you know, I mean, the biggest sure thing about the flat the earthers. Hell, sure beats the hell out of magnet fish. Magnet fish. Well, what did the flat earthers used to do? The same thing that the, the uh, first minute auditors do now. The biggest thing, because you remember back, like, when um, uh, SC was doing stuff and and uh, all this kind of, and they would argue with these guys. It was, no, uh, no, uh, right? There wasn't an actual, like, rebuttal to anything that was said. It was just that. No, you're wrong. Well, you don't show me how I'm wrong, right? Like I'm telling you, the Earth is round because of didn't, this. Didn't third. we watch that? Didn't we no, watch no, no. that? Uh, that uh, I think we watched that. I think that was the first video we watched, wasn't it? Over on the uh, Man the Scenes channel. No, oh, wait a minute. We watched the last three videos he posted. I just popped that up there. I can't remember now because. Uh, uh, that's when DP was here and I had all those browsers open. I was trying to read those emails. Uh, let's see here. Look at this real quick. I think uh, that's a parody video he did. I'm getting hung up. Yeah. Well, the last one was the parody video. The first one we watched was the, I thought was the phone call. Maybe not. Let me look, let me look and see. I just want to make sure if, 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 uh, if Don's saying, wait, may I missed it. I don't want to miss it. Okay. Let's see what. Let me just go to his channel real quick and see. Logan says you sound like the old guys he used to work with. What? He says I love your voice, Ram. You sound like the old guys I used to work with. Uh oh. Where'd you used to work? Maybe I am that old guy. <laughs> <laughs> I have my uh, my voice changed a few years ago. I had. Uh, had some issues with my throat and uh, actually had to do a little messing around down there and take some tissue out or something. And it's not been the same since. <clears throat> and sometimes it's clearer than others, but when I get tired, it really gets, it gets rough. Uh, so, so uh, Ram, I got to ask you a question. Are you, are you actually native? No. Based on your, no. okay. No. I, as a matter of fact, based on your, your, no, uh, no as a matter your, of fact, uh, through that ancestry.com, I did a DNA deal and I really didn't need to do it because I knew my family's history. Right. So I have, I have, you know, how it comes in a pie, right? Yeah. And how it's cut into pie. And a lot of people have what, maybe 
seven, eight, nine pieces of pie, six, five, whatever. Yeah. I have three. It's uh, 48% Irish, 48% Scottish, and the rest is uh, Western European. <laughs> yeah, no, that's how mine was. I, I, I'm Scott Irish. And you don't have to know that if you if you heard my name. I mean, my name, my last name, my 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 mother's name and maiden name. I mean, it's it's just. Uh, well, and I, I made the joke all the time that I'm whiter than Elizabeth Warren, right? Elizabeth Warren. Because she's like you know one thousand or one uh, like yeah, right. one twenty four thousand no, like Cherokee or whatever. Like I have none of that in my in my lineage. Like I did the same thing. My twenty three and me, right? It, did she didn't she make claim and it wasn't true or something? Yes, yes, she did. She made she made claim that that's how she got her job at Harvard was she claimed to be like part Native American because her great or her grandfather or whatever dated a white girl at one point in time at some time in the history. And it turns out when she did her actual uh point three me and they did this is like a public thing, right? That she was like one twenty four thousandth Cherokee. Oh yeah, that's what it was. It was like nothing, right? I did mine and I'm like, you know, Irish, English, and Dutch. A hundred percent. So I make the joke that I'm wider than Elizabeth Warren. Uh, let's see here. I'm having an issue here. I have no idea why this is happening. Let me. I'm gonna have to cover up. I need to get out of this browser. That's what I need to do. Get back to uh... Guten Tag, Logan. Wie geht's? The funny thing is, like, I was actually in, well, I was in, like, the last time I was, a, like, a teenager in Oklahoma, I went to uh, Wars Fest. Well, not Wars Fest. It was, like, a Oktoberfest, right? And I had the, the there was some older ladies that came up to me and started speaking German to me. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. They're like, aren't you Dutch? And I'm like, yes, in certain aspects. Uh, my, my, my grandmother's side was Dutch. And they just assumed that I spoke German, Dutch, or whatever because of the way I looked. It was amazing. Why? I had no idea that I looked Dutch or looked at, you know, it was like someone who spoke like, you know, Dutch or, you know, German or whatever. I'm having a hell of a time with this browser. Maybe it's trying to tell me something. I can't find his channel all of a sudden. Uh, Logan, Logan, I'm a blue eyed, blonde haired. Well, I was blonde hair for, you know, many now, years. None of us toe heads years. ever have blonde hair all the way through, only early in our life and late in our life. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a toe head. I'm a toe head. Yes, sir. That's and me too. I have, the funny thing is, the gray, the gray has come in the, to the front of the hair, not to the back. And then I got some grays in my beard. But other than that, like, I'm like, I have like Thor's beard, you know, like not the original movie, but like later on, like it's that kind of blonde, right? And a little, there's a little bit of red going through, right? But, okay. um, all right. So, okay. All right. Back to let me minimize this. Let me get back to Don here. Okay. If you're still there, Don, you probably, you probably <laughs> gave up on me. Uh, Okay, so we watched uh, the Chili uh, Calls Brian back. We watched that. That was the last one we watched. And then we did the voice parody was the uh, second one we watched. And the first one we watched was Chili Stay in Court. So, yeah, uh, the only other one is a couple days before that, and that was Chili Calls his appellate attorney. It gets some bad news. But, yeah, I think uh, the one you're referring to, we watched it. It was... Uh, the callback, Brian, if that's the one you're talking about. We watched it uh, about an hour ago or an hour and a half ago or so. I, think. I mean, I don't mind playing it. It's only three minutes long. But, uh, that's up to the chat, I guess. Uh, yeah, we did. We watched that one, too. Yeah, watch those. They're going on. Chili's Black Hole. Real, real parody. <laughs> That's the one he's talking about where he calls Brian back. I think. 
EDB says it's 6.25 in the morning in Norway. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, the fact that you have fans from Norway. Uh, are you talking about Yvonne? No, no, no. Yvonne's in the Netherlands. EDB is in uh, apparently Norway. That's not the uh, same, same zone, right? No, it's not. Norway is uh, a different country. Completely. Well, I know it's a different country. But aren't they geographically? No, maybe not. No, no, they're not. Nor uh, Norway is next to like 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 Sweden and Germany and all that, right? No, 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 no. The Netherlands is next to, to Germany. Norway is farther north, next to like Sweden and things like that. Like way farther north. I think Vaughn bailed out some time ago, though. Yeah, Yvonne, Yvonne is in, in the Netherlands. The Netherlands are the Netherlands are like border to Germany and all this kind of stuff, but Norway is literally like straight north. Closer to Iceland. Of that entire aspect. And they're so next they're, like so they are so they are in the same time zone because I have a couple they might be in the same time zone, yeah. Yeah, because I've not, got a couple people in the chat that uh, they're yeah, they're real close to the same time of day. Um, oh, Richard, have a good night. And Ellen, thank Shabby. you. To Richard, I'm gonna say Shabby Hubi Dashabashi. <laughs> well, he's the only person I can speak Persian with. Like I don't I can't I can't uh do Well Persian get a room stuff. then. We do. <laughs> we talk about this stuff. But it's just so the uh, problem is like being in Texas and North Texas, there's no way for me to practice. All right, Persian. Richard. Thank right. you, man. Appreciate Thanks, you. Bubba. And uh, I'm going to tap out too. I'm getting, I, I really do need to go. By the time I got home today, got everything going, I really haven't had time to do Italy. All right. You, I got yeah. to finish my taxes too. So, oh God, I, I did my taxes already. Like, I didn't even know what to do because I normally do them a lot earlier, but this year really screwed up. So, I just been kind of and then you got the YouTube shit too, right? With taxes because oh, YouTube that's doesn't take out taxes. That's nothing though. That, no, they take it out. They take Do they? they take it. That's why they take the 30%. Well, I heard that YouTube didn't take out the taxes from that sense. I, don't, that, I heard it from another YouTuber. So, you know, it's, I don't know. Look, it's so minimal. It wouldn't matter anyway. One, hmm, of the ben yeah. one of the benefits, you do get a little bit of a break when you get to a certain age, like your driver's license you get for free. You can earn a little, <laughs> you, you can earn a little bit of money without, you know, you know, too much taxation. Uh, yeah. right. I mean, hey, you're talking nine hundred dollars for God's sake. I mean, if they're going to worry about that, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I have it. They they sent a uh, what, what was it, a uh, EHC or whatever. But it was okay. Well, it, I, I, let me let me. It, it, it was very on. little. It was only like thirteen dollars or some shit. I want to correct something right fast in the live chat, and Richard has tried to correct this multiple times. His grandfather was in the Air Force. Richard himself was not in the Air Force. And it, it, it got confused on, a, on a, a, a Stone Vet Live that when Richard came in, because he thought that Richard said he was in the Air Force. Richard was not in the Air Force. His grandfather was in the Air Force. So um, just to correct that right now, because I know he would want me to correct it if he was, you know, still talking. So um, because he is like he, the Richard loves the military. Uh, he, was here 90, he, got, he was here ninety seconds ago. So right, but the thing is, a it, it's just I want to correct it now because he's very worried that people think that he's in, he was in the Air Force and he wasn't. It was his grandfather. Because Richard is Richard is an amazing guy, and, and he doesn't want to have any you know wrong association whatsoever. Yeah, Logan, I got it. I got it. I did. I got a form from. I got it from YouTube. But I'm, I'm. I'm. What I'm saying is, we're talking way less. Way less yes. than a hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, for it was. I think. Uh, I think when I factored it in, I, like I said, it was thirteen dollars or some shit. So that's how little uh, that I benefit from YouTube. So well, I know you want 
and know you want to get to bed, so I'm gonna. Well, I'm, gonna I'm not going out. to bed, but I do need to get off of here. I got things I need to attend to, and uh, not to mention I need to go hit the uh, the pisser. So the old the old uh, but the old process for... don't, don't work like it used to. Yeah, right. Thanks for having me up, Ram. Again. Yeah, Ram. you bet. You bet. Thanks for coming up. Appreciate you know. it. Yeah. And I love your streams and it, it just, uh, just keep doing you, right? That's so. all we do. That's all you can do. And, uh, everybody make sure to check out, uh, Dick Bag's channel. He's going to be cutting this video loose anytime, probably within 24 hours. So keep an eye out. If you don't have notifications set in on him, go do that. And, um, We'll be back next Tuesday for sure. And thanks for stopping by, Navy Tex. My we'll, pleasure, as always. And we'll, and we'll see you soon, man. I'm going to. Yes, sir. You uh, have a good night. All right, buddy. And I'll see you all later. All right, man. Thanks. All right, everybody. Thanks, Linda, for all your help, as usual. And I figured out something else, Linda, tonight that I just i've been wondering how to take care of it and i've learned this i just need to have that other browser open and i can control the chat i wonder why the hell i couldn't do anything stream or i probably i'll learn how to live stream off of youtube i've been reluctant to do it because Streamyard, i've gotten so accustomed to it but the delay and everything is kind of annoying all right angel Colette, Logan, Matt, anybody that's still here, there's probably some down in the bushes, whoever you may be. Richard is gone, probably. EDB took off. All of you appreciate you being here. Thanks for hanging late and everything and putting up with all the monotonous uh, bullshit. And, uh, Keep your eyes open for uh, Dick Meg's video, and we'll certainly be back next Tuesday, and probably we'll be back up on Dick Meg's channel, I would guess, probably before the weekend. We'll see what happens. I love y'all. Appreciate you. Until uh, next time we meet, I'll be gone.